as the chimera, 300 feet in the air, is in a scuffle with the rock, but is also looking at Ul. <laughs> Ul. I mean, mm, how mm, did yeah. Ul thinks of a lot of things. He he thinks deeply about the events that have sort of transpired to get him into this position. Hey, this is, is Ul. This is Ul we're talking about. Let's. No, he don't think about that. Ul's watching this thing go fucking rampant. What is on his mind with a seven intelligence save? Uh, what is on his mind? Hit, what is on his mind is the rat that just is running away over here, and he's, his stomach is rumbling. Rumbling as Ul's mind drips, as the party has found themselves in a, a scuffle with a group of hags. Um, a large tree ominously sits in the foreground, as a chimera looks hungry for owl. I don't see it. And then also here, Nate, and Nate's the DM this this day. That's true. And we're sponsored by... Audible? Uh, Aud Hamas. No. <laughs> none of them. The, it, the Bard's Bum Balm. We're sponsored. Ever find yourself in the tavern kind of itching? The next day, Bard's Bum Bomb. We were sponsored by them, but they did tell us not to do that well, anymore. We, we also do have the University of uh, uh, University of the Phoenix, which is a like, <laughs> which is a, <laughs> uh, which is like a mail-in order uh, wizard college. school. Yeah, wizard school that will help you gain sorcerer powers. Well, it's it's particularly for sorcerers who can't pass like uh, wizarding school, wizarding school. So they, <laughs> they have this other college. Yeah, I hear, I hear they'll accept credits from it everywhere, even like apprenticeships. They yeah. will. I mean, it's it's pretty wild. Like they, in the minimum requirement everyone? is cantrips. Yeah, if that they will, if you have <laughs> nothing, they will take you in and they will work with you until you develop those powers. Money back guaranteed. Uh, no, not money back guaranteed. Actually, the money cannot be guaranteed back, yeah. nor can the diplomas legitimately be validated. All right, Nate, let's get on. <laughs> <laughs> Last time, Ool was just sauntering into the woods, just uh, uh, nonchalantly uh, flying towards the nearest big tree. Mm, well, mm. <clears throat> the gang, unbeknownst to him, the gang below found uh, a lot of extremely spooky tracks and uh, realized that Ool was flying straight towards danger. Uh, well, Ool found danger. Uh, immediately upon in getting in close proximity of the tree, a chimera flew straight at him. And, uh, you know, Horus charged ahead on his rhino, trying to warn Ool, but it was too late. Uh, and he burst onto, the spe burst onto the scene with Ool in battle in the air with the chimera. Uh, and seeing, it looks like a horde of hags, redcaps, and death dogs below. And here we go. Oh, just some, just a little recap of something that did happen last time is that the chimera is poison that failed. Its it is. That's true. It has a uh, little poison ticker up in the top right. Yep. Poison icon. When it gets to your turn, don't forget you gotta roll a d6 or the recharge thing for your uh, breath. Yes, I yep. will. All right. We both do. What do you have to recharge? The poison. The yeah. spore, the rock. Uh, yeah. Ability. It's a recharge six. Okay. Yes. All right. <clears throat> Starting off this combat, Dragul. You've not entered the fray yet, but I'm sure you will soon. What do you do? All right. Uh, Dragul had been pacing along a little bit ahead of the party in stealth and so he's a little bit ahead of everybody uh and is seen kind of the group of folks heading towards the party that he knows is behind uh seeing this he's going to 
crawl up this embankment. He has um, a climb speed equal to his movement speed and is not affected by difficult terrain because okay. of ranger stuff. I think he's going to move here so that he's kind of... I think he's going to move there so that he's kind of obscured by this tree. Uh, see the small army coming towards him. He's going to touch the ground and make a pattern in it. And as he does, this mud and bramble surrounding the hag and its creatures will need to make a save because he is casting Entangle in a 20-foot square. If I could get a 20-foot square, please, DM. Okay, and can you center, can you ping where that uh, square is going? Uh, let me see. You go down to the ruler tool. It's gonna, it's gonna be from here. This is gonna be the top left corner. So what'll, what'll, okay. Top left corner. All right. And this will be the bottom left corner. How think, big is uh, it? 20. 20. Square. Yep. Okay. So it should hit all of those yeah. jokers in an entangle spell. So they all need to make a strength saving throw. Unfortunately, only a 14. Okay. Let me just, did I, uh, did I do it correctly? I think I did. Uh, based on, on my square, it's actually uh, one. Can you see the ruler square on there? Or no? Yeah, I see it. I see it. It should affect the death dog at the bottom as well. Okay, so my question is, I mean, if we're using the grid, it would, you know, if we're using the, the grid with that, you know, with the who's within the square. Yeah, uh, it looks like it won't hit the bottom. It looks death like it dog. won't hit bottom right death dog. Because it's the top of the grid to the bottom of the grid is yeah. 20 feet. Does it have to be with the grid? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to say it does. It's a 20 okay. foot square. Okay, so we're running it on uh, four people. <clears throat> uh, what kind of a save is this again? It is a strength saving throw of a DC 14. Okay. Well, the death dog is going to roll. Uh, he rolled a 11. So that's a fail. So I'm going to mark him as entangled. Uh, we'll put this little net there. Then we have the red cap is going to make a strength save. 19, other red cap. Eight, he fails. Okay, entangled. And <clears throat> the hag. <laughs> a seven. She is also going to be entangled. Okay, so that just means their uh, their speed is. Uh, let's see. They are restrained, so their speed is reduced to zero. Uh, they have disadvantage on any kind of attack rolls. Anybody has advantage on attack rolls on them, and they have disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. So if anybody Ooh. has a decent AOE to throw at them, not All a bad. Right. Not a bad call for now. Uh, so yeah, the the mud and some vines will go and grasp at them. And then as a bonus action, well, I don't think Tootsie has much to do right now, but uh, she will fly to the top of this tree here and take the dodge action. Roger. Okay. And I think that will be her, be Dragul's turn. Okay. All right. Chimera's up. First things first. Chimera is going to roll to see if he gets his his breath weapon back. On D6. Okay. Looks like he does get his breath weapon back. Ooh. 
does does uh, poison do damage to him? Ool. No. None at all. To who? The <laughs> Vrock or me? To, uh, well, the Vrock poisoned the Chimera last round. Uh, did it? Yes. It couldn't have, because, uh, no. No, I'm talking... The Vrock poisoned the Chimera, but are you saying... No, the, is... the Vrock is immune to poison and the poison yeah. condition, if that matters. Right, yeah. so... I assume I have to roll some damage on the Chimera. Yeah, right? poison happens at the beginning of the Chimera's turn. I think oh, you rolled the okay. poison yeah, damage yeah, yeah. as soon as it. it... I think you all rolled the poison damage as soon as it happened last time, which I don't think is supposed to happen. But... Yeah, it's only uh... supposed to happen at the start of its turn, which it took three last turn. So it... You don't have to take it this time because we technically have already rolled it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Yeah. Well, yeah. then uh, Chimera takes a little bit of damage. And um, this entangled uh, hag's eye glows a little bit. And you see the, the goat's eye over here uh, glow a little bit as well. And uh, Chimera is going to use his bonus action for a spe special ability. Use his ram's blood. He's going to remove a status condition from himself. Um, and he's going to remove the poisoned condition. Uh, right there. And then, eyes glowing, he's going to come over to Ool. And uh, that's going to provoke an opportunity attack from the from the Vrock, so go ahead and roll that ooh. Try to figure out which one. I'll do that one. Okay, that is going to be a miss. Yeah. And then, <clears throat> let's see. Chimera is going to bite at you with the lion's head. For a 14. Does that hit you? No, uh, meets on the die. So okay, that so, is a hit. So that yeah. is a hit. Okay. You do 17 piercing. Yeah. And then he's going to hit you with his horns. Yeah. All right. And then final attack with his claw. Yeah. Okay. And don't don't forget that I did shield of faith to you. I don't know if that helps with any of those. Oh. But... Well, uh, that means uh, I don't that... remember what shield of faith does. Plus two AC. Yeah. That first so, one so the... hit you. Yeah. So okay. The first so the one wouldn't have. Well, yeah, the first one wouldn't have hit me then. Okay. Fair enough. The uh, horns and the claws 16, hit. Thirteen plus sixteen. Oh wait. Uh no. Uh, bludgeoning. I have resistance against bludgeoning. Oh, okay. Cool. So only eight. Yeah. All right. And that is Chimera's turn. Horus, you're up. All right. Uh, and all this stuff is happening up in, this, in the trees above me, correct? That is correct. All right. So I'm going to I'm going to focus on crowd control for right now. I'm going to rampage my rhino as a movement speed of 40 to here. And then I'm going to attempt a gore attack on this dog. Okay. Uh, I, I don't have disadvantage, I don't think, but it, this no. is a 20. A 20? No. That certainly hits. All right. And I do get to add my oh, extra yeah. 2d8 bludgeoning to this as well, because I finally got to move 20 feet. All right. So it's 13. 33 damage. Okay. This, uh, uh, well, no, 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 no. It's, it's 13 plus whatever this is. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so 21. 22. Okay, okay. 22. 22 Still plus. pretty good. And a DC 15 strength save will be knocked prone. Oh, oh this this dog looks Ooh. okay, surprisingly, after... This dog gets, gets rammed by a rhinoceros <laughs> and just stands its ground. It's just a big dog. That's a big dog. That's another dog. All right. Uh, but I don't really have uh, any super good AOEs for these guys that are that are held. So I'm just going to I'm just going to Warhammer this dog. 
okay. from mounted. A mounted strike. Ooh. The Ooh. first one misses, but Ooh, I do get I do it. I, oh, I you missed him twice. Time, I you, missed twice. The haft of your uh, Warhammer is a little bit short. Uh, yeah. And you just feel like you next time you need to lean a little bit more, you know. So uh, <laughs> is that turned? I think that's going to be turned for Horus, though. All right. Uh, Death Dog is going to bite at your Rhino's heels. Oh, yeah, nipping at them heels. He's going to bite twice. One and two. Uh, so those actually both hit because rhinos do not have very high AC. Wow. Okay. Then it does. Uh, looks like 13 damage. And uh, does rhino? I think rhino has to make a, a disease save. Yeah. You know? Oh yeah. I mean, right. Probably. Okay. Minus 13 altogether. And then he's got to make a Constitution save. I would imagine. Yes. Two of them. Two of them. First one's 19. You're safe. Second one is... 20. 20. All right. No problem at all. Uh, looks like two more dogs run over here and bite at your rhino. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, those... Well, no, the 10 misses. Everything okay. else hits. Oh, no. All right. So 20 damage to your rhino, and that's three con saves. And then can this? I guess this guy's restrained. He can't move at all, correct? No, nobody he, in this. He cannot move can... at all. Interesting. Okay. Ooh, he misses. Oh, he fails. Ooh. I guess oh. it doesn't matter if he fails. It doesn't one. matter after that. But uh, I guess he's poisoned. I guess he is just poisoned. Uh, let's see. Every twenty-four hours, you gotta repeat a saving throw, reducing hit point maximum by. 1d10 on a failure. Uh, right. So I guess you don't. Did we discern? Did we determine last time that you had to roll poison at the last no, time, or so, is it no? It's just no, no, next so, time. So the way it is is that's just an additional effect because it's a disease, right? It reduces the maximum hit points okay. after 24 hours. But he, Which he this does Rhino's have not the, about to make it 24 hours. Yeah. And he, but he does have Oops. the poisoned condition, which means that he oh, gets yeah. disadvantage on Advantage attack on rolls stuff. and stuff. Yeah. Okay. All right. Dogs are done. V Vendrick. Vendrick is going to. He is very worried about Ool up there. Uh, but unfortunately, he I'm not sure he can do anything. Let me think about this. I can. Sorry. I, I have to make a decision here that's bit complicated. Do I go with the guys on the ground or do I help with the chimera? I'm probably gonna try and help with the chimera, yeah? Yeah. Um crap, this doesn't work with this, does it? Okay, I think Vendrick what he is going to do is he is going to cast uh, a first level spell on himself as a bonus action. He's going to cast Expeditious Retreat. Okay. Um, allows him to move when you cast the spell and then as a bonus action. So basically his movement speed is uh, doubled at the moment. Okay. Um, so he is going to actually sort of duck this way. Um... And he is going to shoot some arrows. How high up is this thing, actually? How high did we say it was? It was like... We were uh, 90 feet above tree line. So we were 110 feet above the ground. Yes. 110 feet. I think that's still within range of a longbow, right? Yeah, uh, I think it's like 120. Yeah, because I think longbow has like... Longbow is like 150. Uh, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty crazy. Pretty, pretty powerful uh, bow. Yes. Uh, 150. Yeah, you're right. Up, up to 600. Holy. So, Vendrick is, runs oh. up. He pulls out his longbow, and he is going to uh, shoot some shots up at it. Okay. 
Uh, he gets two attacks. So, all right. Let me make sure. Oops. Within thirty feet. No. Shit. That hits. Both of them hit. All right. That's Thirteen and a nine. nine. So twenty-two. Um, right. And he is going to continue his movement. Oop, I was here. But finishing up his movement, kind of getting into this tree line here. Roger. So like shooting as he was he was running. All right. Uh, and then I believe that will be it for Vendrick. All right. Ooh, what do you do? You're you're facing down a monster. Okay, you're blasting. Both hit. It's a disadvantage though. For what reason? Uh, it's a ranged it? attack against an adjacent uh, enemy. Does it will have gunner or um? No, I don't. So yeah. Just, well, the first one hits well, because yeah, first you rolled yeah, twice and rolled twenty-one. Okay, yeah. so the first one is uh, seven plus four bludgeoning. Uh, All right. Go ahead and uh, roll at disadvantage for the next one. Yeah. All right, we'll just we'll just say the. Ool just doesn't care we'll about the, the disadvantage. We'll, yeah, you don't care about that at all. Well, I'm just gonna take the the top, you know, the original rolls for damage. So 16 plus. Okay. Uh, 20. So total of 27. Well, the second oh. one probably wouldn't be a disadvantage because it knocks it back, right? It would. Okay. Well, that's a good because, point. Well, it they both hit, so we're not yeah, gonna they, worry about the monkey hit stuff yet. <laughs> so. Um, we're gonna add my genie's rat. Why did it do that? It's plus four, so it's at 16 plus seven. Um, genie's wrath is additional uh, damage, yeah. Okay, so the first hit, uh, so it's at 16, uh, seven plus four, uh, 12. Oh, god, I'm an accountant. 16 plus 7 plus 4 plus 4. So 31 damage altogether. Roger. He's going to get pushed back 25 feet away from me, back towards the rock. Nice. 25? Okay. Yeah. Why is it, why is it 25 uh, again? So Genie's Wrap uh, pushes him back. Um, uh, I have Crusher on it, so Crusher pushes uh, anytime I do bludgeoning. I push back an enemy 10 feet. Okay. Then I have Genie's Wrath, and Genie's Wrath uh, pushes, because I'm bludgeoning uh, Earth Genie uh, Warlock, it will push him back five feet. Okay. All right, we'll count that. Uh, okay, are you going to do anything else this turn? Uh, oh, yeah, fuck yeah, I'm going to move away. All right. Will's going to fly 30 feet up in the air. Wait, you're flying higher? <laughs> Look. Um, you're about to hit the atmosphere, Ool. Yeah, that's you what Ool's gonna do. <laughs> you hit the hitbox. You actually hit the invisible <laughs> hitbox. The invisible hitbox. <laughs> yeah. Um, the butt. That will end it for Ool. What now, about your here's rock? the thing. That's right, because... I have to make some con say, uh, charisma saves. Oh. Because summon greater demon. Concentration checks. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. Oof. And I'm trying to remember how the concentration works. I it's think it's just, just your, con uh, save, right? It's your, yeah, con. It's a con save. Did you do these after you All got right. hit? Uh, oh, nope. He's nope. free. He's free. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Every time. Look, every time, every it works time, out for, it works out for us though. It's a winning strategy. What? Okay, so okay, he's no longer under the control of uh, Ool. Ooh. So uh, he's under the control of you, DF. It yes. does whatever yep. a horrible demon would want to do. Oh in man! In this situation. Oh I man! Mean, he could also just piss off. We don't know. <laughs> Um. <laughs> okay. Just go, it I'm gonna, eats Tootsie as a snack. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll a D100. Oh my god. 
Ooh, right 49. in the middle. Yeah. Right in the middle. Those bad players. He's going to be true neutral now. He's going to look around. Suddenly sentient. Uh, tell, ooh, I want you to tell me, how did you summon this frog? I want to know I, the circumstances upon your summon. Uh, Ool, in his heart of hearts, wish that he had a super cool and awesome protector to protect him from that mean-ass cat. So he reached into his soul and summoned a protector, which happened to be a rock demon. But also forcibly put him under his control. He said, yeah. pretty please. <laughs> But yes, he did. But that's just the nature of the summons. All right. This guy is going to uh, attack this guy with a... He's going to be like... I don't know. And uh, he's he's going to attack the, uh, the the Chimera that's right next to him. Oh, uh, Go ahead and make a off. melee attack. Oh, I closed out of that immediately. You better open it Let up. Let me open yeah. Uh, can you roll a 1d6 for the recharge? Three. All right, he doesn't recharge. Uh, do you want the beak or the talons? I want the beak. Beak, beak. Nope. Ooh. Beak misses, and then he looks around, and his bird's eye catch you up there. And, I wait. Uh, he flies up towards you. And then uh, I guess that provokes an opportunity attack. Did I already take an opportunity attack on this guy? No. Probably not. No. Okay. That's going to make a, you know, that's a bite. 13 probably misses the, the uh, yeah, AC is 15. And then this guy gives you an attack as well, a, a talent. But... No. Uh, no, it actually doesn't hit. Not at all. I mean, can you, can you roll it? Well, it was it with advantage? No, it's just a standard. That's yeah, like one attack Chimera on the Camaro, one zombie. attack on you. That was the Camaro bite. The thing oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I thought he, Nate already rolled it. I'm sorry. Yeah, it doesn't hit. Sorry. Okay. Whew. Sorry, I, I saw that bite and I thought you ro rolled it. Sorry. All good. All good. Uh, <clears throat> Dwarfadil. Hey, man. Dwarfadil looks over. I and Samurai Jake. Hey guys, yeah, become one with nature, man. And he runs uh, <laughs> into this tree. He does he meld with <laughs> it? Or does he yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. And Dorfidel is gonna come out. Oh hell yeah! Out of the big tree. Oh, that's fucking badass. <laughs> that's so fucking cool. <laughs> All right. So you, so you, are you still in the tree right now? Or are you coming out of the bark? I'm going to come out of the, like, is, I can't, is there like a hole inside this tree or is it? Yeah. Kind of yeah. Like... It's basically hollow in there, actually. Yeah. I'll come out, um, kind of like on the, right about here. All right on the inside a little bit. Okay. As you uh, look around, it's pretty dark and dank and nasty. Everything looks rotten. There's uh, foul mushrooms and mold and uh, a bunch of rags. It looks like this place has been uh, ransacked for quite a long time. Oh. Ah, well, Thor feels angry now that being mean to the tree. Mm. You do anything else? Um, I'll take five. I think I like five to ten feet of movement. I'll take five to ten feet of movement and come out. I'll okay. stab a little bit. All right. That's that's so rad. Yeah. <laughs> no, we haven't used that before. Um, let's see. Okay, it's a uh, it's uh, wow. It's turn of the uh, red caps. Red caps. These red caps are stuck and they can't move at all. Uh, uh, no, but they do get another strength check. I think at the end of their turn. At the end of their turn. Okay. Oh, no. What it is is no, they, they can use an action <clears throat> to make a strength check. <clears throat> can use an action <clears throat> to make a strength check. Okay. Well, 
they're gonna choose not to do that right now. Um, they're they're gonna they're gonna throw. What are they gonna do? They're going to uh, use their slings and throw their slings at horse's uh, mount. Uh, at disadvantage. At disadvantage. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, this is a that 12 and against... 20 are the highest. This is that against hit? my guy? Yeah, the, yes. No, the rhino. The rhino? The, rhino. Uh, the 12 is going to hit. Okay. So that's six bludgeoning, and the next one is, I guess, just five because it's not a critical strike. Five plus All right. The rhino is looking pretty rough, my dudes. All right. It's clinging to life. Lay some hands on job. it. I could lay some hands on it. All right. The other two guys are also going to... One guy is going to throw his sling at the rhino. One, two. Ooh. There's still only uh, uh, 11. And That's going to do it for the rhino. Oh, shit. The rhino okay. falls to the ground. Wait, Rhino's... is it is it dead, though? Or is it dying? Uh, like, well, I mean, it, dead. I think it's dead. Actually, yeah. it's a summon, so it might just disappear. It just disappears. <laughs> do, you have to make a, do you have to make some sort of dexterity check for falling it's off a, a mountain like that? It's a dex uh, save of 10. Oh, dex well, he's, he's going to pass it. He's got plus well, four I'm not five. very dex. I'm not. No. He can also I'm, roll a one. I'm strong. So I'm not dexterous. Oh, but I, okay, do have 15. My, I do have my aura of protection. So you land so, on your feet, gleaming armor, just in time for the final uh, guy to hit with his sickle, which I does have a reach upset. of 10 feet. And he swings twice. Uh, one's a I, 16, the other's an 18. I angrily... Bl blast his sickle away from me with my shield. Rebuffed. Yeah, Both times? You... Oh, yeah. Okay. You have slain my rhinoceros. Horus's eyes glow with a flame. Uh, I anger un unseen. Uh, DM. Yes. Don't uh, forget about this guy over here on the left flank again. Oh, he's man. He's way over there. You're yeah, totally should... right. And oh, I forgot boy. about him twice. Okay, this guy is just going to run this direction. Uh, are you hidden right now? I'm not hidden, but I am, uh, say, behind cover of this tree. Okay. Well, let me see if this guy sees you. Let's see. He's just going to make a... an intelligence save? I don't know. Sometimes we use cover rules. Sometimes we don't. Yeah. That's all right. Uh, he's going to dash. He's going to dash. And uh, yes, that will allow a opportunity attack on you. Uh, all Actually, right. yeah. He was just going to run this direction towards these people, and I think he's just going to he's just going to be right here. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. And that he's going to be surprised. As well. He's going to be surprised, and he's only going to attack you one time with the sickle. Uh, can he do that while dashing? Uh, yeah, you're yeah, actually yeah. totally right. He cannot. He cannot do that. So uh, then he did not swing. That's totally my fault. Uh, it's all right. It's all right. That's over. Uh, I yeah. he kills now that I, he kills. He just jumps off the cliff. No, I'm running, <laughs> running with scissors. <laughs> running with sickles. Running with his sickle. He acts. He falls on it. But yeah. uh, I. Uh, your turn. Right. <laughs> you just saw this clusterfuck over here. They look at each other and go, and then as, uh, your turn. As like, I see it running, so I move up, and I see like the cluster going on here. Um, right here where I am pinging. Yes. I I need a... Uh, a square, I on. assume. No, I, it's not going to be spiritual weapon. I specifically need this to have a aura of um, 10 feet. And I can't get it to display for whatever reason. Interesting. Okay. Aura of 10 feet. Let's okay. try that. 
And then uh, I, what color R would you like? Oh, I have I have it on there. Is can you display it for everybody else, or can they see that? I can't see it. I just it. turned on an orange aura. I can't see it either, so I just I just turned it on. Ten foot okay. radius, right? Uh, yes, it's a ten foot radius. Done. Okay. Um, specifically in that spot, there's a ten foot radius of wither and bloom. Um, okay. I need everybody but Horus, uh, because I'm excluding him from getting damaged. Um, oh, thank you. To make a constitution, <laughs> um, to make a constitution saving throw of two d six of necrotic. Um, all non-magical vegetation completely withers. So I want to see Ooh. does the root does the root of the tree actually wither? That root of the tree does wither. Okay, so it is a non-magical tree. That's that is very important. Okay. I do three damage. Unfortunately, I only do three damage. But Horus, if you have any damage taken, you can. Um, I choose you to be able to roll any unspent hit die or one unspent hit die to regain some hit points, plus your spell ca plus my scal spell casting modifier. Nice. Can I hold on to that, or do I have to do it this round? Um. Horus is you're probably at full health, yeah. Yeah, because my rhino took all the damage, so I don't have any shit. Yeah, it's an That's instant okay. spell. It's an instant spell, so um, I'm no assuming worries. it would be now. Sorry, Rhino. If you were alive, I would, I would lay hands on you. But well, that's what I, that's that's specifically why I was asking if the rhinoceros had to flat out die or just make a death saving roll because I was gonna cast Wither and Bloom. Nah, the, the rhinos unfortunately don't have death now, saves. Now it's definitely dead. Damn. Yeah. No. And Tootsie saw it. The... Tootsie saw this imaginary rhino die, and that helps <laughs> no. Tootsie a little, I think. <laughs> oh, she, she cries a little little tear and specific, <laughs> a little frozen spe tear specifically because I, I'm oh. in line of sight of Samurai Jake and of um, and, and of Dragul you will both you'll both see I'm my hair is not glowing in fact it flashes black with my eyes before going back to normal oh that ends me spooky the Jacob King dude no uh you're in cahoots with a witch I'm gonna like run up to here, dude. And take the dodge action while saying, "Dudes, let's get pitted." And that that'll do it for Samurai Jake this round. Oh, okay, all right. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. This, this uh, person right here is going to. Use an action to try to unstick themselves, I think. All right. Uh, so strength save. Strength save from the hag. Come on, low. Fails it. You got 12. It. 12 fails it. All right. So that's their turn wasted, I assume? Pretty well, that much. That was their action. So unless they had a bonus action they could do. Okay. Uh, uh, nothing. Nothing, unfortunately. Uh, and then I need to do one more check. Let's see, let's see. Okay, can't do that. Cannot do that. This girl is going to come up here. Oof. Actually, I don't know what she's going to do. She's going to go invisible. And, uh, sorry, am I, am I disappearing? My, my internet you, might be... You did just once. You went, you went invisible for just a second. Okay. Okay. So the, 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 uh, the hag goes invisible and is, uh, well, no longer able to be seen by you guys. All right. Uh, which brings us to Dragul. All right. Uh, Dragul is holding his longbow, he's gonna take two shots at the e, this far entangled hag. Two shots. Alright. Yep. First shot. Uh, and this is at advantage. Okay, that hits. 27. 
So that is, let me turn off fighting style because that doesn't work for this. It's gonna do 11 and the arrow as it looses out of his bow is gonna glow blue. All right. So for another five cold damage. Sure. If that is applicable. And then he'll take another shot at advantage for 24. It's again. For 12 damage. All right. Noted. And then he'll call out, Tootsie, help me. And Tootsie is going to fly back down here and bite this red cap. For a 15. Uh, that does hit. Go ahead and roll damage on that. For eight damage. Okay. Ugh. And then Dragul is gonna move. Uh oh. So he's gonna move here and take a uh, an attack of opportunity from the red cap. Roger. That totally misses it. It goes right into the ground. You're just too <laughs> quick for him. He's just, I, I, these guys like have the big foot kick. I imagine he just <laughs> like stubs his toe on the yeah. berm here. 10, 15, 20. He'll, he'll, Dragul will stay, he'll, he'll move up a little. He'll move to here. Uh, and that will be his turn. Okay, sounds good. Uh, next turn, I believe it is the Chimera. Uh, Chimera. <clears throat> Let's see, what is he going to do? He is going to fly downward. I guess it's going to be like this. Uh, I don't know how we're going to do any trigonometry. Uh, well, it, he's 90 feet up. Or he's yes. more than 90 feet up, right? He's 120. 120. I guess that's true. So he's got a... He's got a... Uh... So at minimum, he has to move at least 120 to get to the ground. If that's okay, fair the enough. kind of logic we're going with. He is going to fly right over here. And he's going to dash. And he's going to get uh, basically all the way to the ground. And that is going to be his turn. Horus. Horus. You've lost your rhino, Horus. I think he uh, he said BRB. Ooh, that's true. Okay, uh, let's see. Well. Damn, we can't go right to the dogs because he's surrounded by them. <laughs> he's surrounded by dogs. Uh, uh, any, any, anybody heard, heard any good jokes? Uh, I can't say it while we're recording. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, I heard it's good. Uh, it's good. I, are, are you playing? Are you purposely moving that that thing away? Yeah, because it's it was an instant spell. It's an instant yeah, she, spell. She just needed to know the radius. Is basically okay. All good. Uh, Can I need to play well, some loungy music while we wait. Oh, is, yeah. is uh? Let's see. Is uh? Is Bobbin's back? I think there was a baby thing that probably oh. why you ran away. Oh, I see. Well, and what you, do you guys, uh, what do we do, I, guys? Do we? And you wouldn't hurt Brad, who just had a baby. Yeah, I don't want to hurt. Saying. I don't want to hurt Brad, who just had a baby. I think. Uh, I think let's see. Well, you you can hurt Brad. It's not like you're hurting the baby. Should we go uh, go to Vendrick and then? We sh we could go to Vendrick because like, uh, hopefully by the time we get to the Red Cap. Like, we can do Horus, then Dog, then Red Cap. All right, how about this? If Vendrick ends up killing any of these dogs, they'll get an attack. You know, they'll get to right. do something before they die. But let's see what you do, Vendrick. Go ahead. I, well, then I will purposely not kill the dogs. I was going to kill all of them this turn, so, you know, <laughs> be the big hero. But um, I think this time I won't. Not this time. Uh, I think Vendrick wants to get over to where the Chimera is. 
I can't see it from where I am, right? Like this berm here. It would be difficult for you to see for sure. Okay. You probably can't see it from that. Yeah. Okay. Could, so th this um thing is this difficult terrain, or is it like unpassable? This uh, it's certainly not unpassable. You could climb it. Okay. Would it be a check kind of climb it, or just a? I have to use double movement to get through it. Uh. You've uh, other people have well other people have climbing speeds. Uh, go make a deck save when you uh, when you get near it. Okay. Well, the reason is because I'm I'm gonna try to acrobatics my way up. It was kind of the idea. <laughs> okay. Well, you could make an acrobatics save if you want to get close up there. Okay. The reason is is because I am going to bonus action a uh, blade song. Okay. Um, which will increase my movement and also uh, give me advantage on acrobatics. So I'm going to go over there. <laughs> Let's take uh, advantage acrobatics. I just see him, oh. like like doing that uh doing that like Olympic run up and then yeah. skip and jump and then uh, what do you like somersaulting over it? Yeah, like somersault over. <laughs> I'm gonna say. Yeah, oh shoot! Yeah. Sorry guys, I didn't realize. That's okay. That's okay. You'll go in a second. We we okay. just uh, mildly skipped you. Uh, I'm gonna say, Garrett, you did uh, you did some acrobatics, uh, but you slipped a little, and it takes I don't know five movement off your max. Okay, so I'm I'm at 25 movement at this. Okay. Point. Uh, which will get me at let's see 25, 30, 35. I, I have a lot of movement right now, so. Okay. I can actually get all the way up to here because I have 50 foot, right? Oh now. yeah, can you? Aren't you dashing as a bonus action? Uh, no, I had to blade song as a bonus action. Ah. Uh, but I had long strider on, and uh, uh, and now I have 10 extra movement, so I have 50 movement total. It's a quick old man. He's a quick old man. I think this quick old man's gonna go over where this red cap is real quick. Uh, All right. He's gonna drop his bow, pull out his long sword, which he probably would. Yeah, he, he would have done it. Hop it up the hill. Um. And I'm actually gonna cast a spell. Uh oh. Uh. I'm gonna cast haste on myself, so I'm gonna drop concentration on the one. Oh shit! Now I'm hasted. I get okay. one free thing. I'm gonna attack with it. Uh, 25 in him? Hell yeah, that hits. Ooh, for seven. All right, cool. All right, slice. Noted. Under, it's, it's just like moving at a good speed. He's up in the he's he's up in the in the thick of it. Horus, yep. your friends come up here, but you're also surrounded by animals and uh, doggos. Uh, you know. Did those uh, did those Hags do anything to me while I was gone? They did not. Okay. Cool. Uh, okay, so I got some animals. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna start by hitting this animal because I know that it's already injured. Oh. I'm gonna I'm gonna whack it with my war hammer here. Twelve. I'm rolling not very good tonight. You know that that actually does hit. Okay, okay. I'm going to pop a <laughs> I'm gonna pop a level one spell slot to do a divine to throw a little divine smite on that. Okay. And I'm gonna go Wow. Little seasoning. Alright. As 19. you swing your hammer over your head, you uh, your your eyes like glow and uh, in they glow at like a, a, a celestial gold, and the the hammer comes down, bringing the wrath of Yasni, and smashes, well, one of this dog's heads. But that's enough to do it, and uh, <laughs> the dog just tongue out uh, has its head buried into the ground, dead. Nice. Is the divine smite? Divine smite's not a bonus action, right? It's just you just add it to it. I think that's the case. Uh, yeah, it looks like it. 
Yeah, it's just added to your attack. Okay. It's when cool, you cool. hit. So then I so then I am going to use my bonus action to flap a hunter's mark on there. Ignore all this dice that just got rolled. Okay. I'm just I'm just I'm just Rom, we're getting some TV from you. Yeah. Dustin. Dustin. What? We're, we're getting TV. TV. We can hear it. Oh, how? Through your microphone. Through your microphone. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to Hunter's Mark this dog. Okay. Uh, that, that does pull the, uh, shield from Ur. Oh, is it a bone? Is it a, uh, it is a concentration spell. Never mind. I don't do that. I don't do that because I want to keep that going. So I don't do that. I okay. just hit that. I just hit that dog with my second warhammer attack. Whoa! Did this guy just say he's gonna hit a fucking dog? Yeah. Oh. Well, <laughs> you succeeded in hitting this dog, this poor animal. All right. Hey man, you can't be hitting animals like that. Oh, but I can, <laughs> as I do sixteen. Okay. Bludgeoning slash radiant. So that's the second smite. Uh, no, that's just my improved smite that I get. Oh, that's everything. crazy! Yeah. Yeah, you can so divine good. smite on that. Damn, son. I could. Well, can I slap a divine smite on? Can I do divine smite twice per turn? I don't think so. Yes, you can. You can, you can put oh, as yeah. many yeah. things as you want. Any attack. You got you spell live. slots. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah, I will do that. Hell yeah. So I'm gonna throw another two d eight on there. All right. Ooh, that's a good Holy one. Holy shit. Good roll. All right. Cool. So 16 plus 15. Oh, this dog immediately looks unhappy with that Warhammer. That's right. Nobody kills rhinoceros but me. <laughs> but me? <laughs> All right. Uh, is that your turn? And that's my turn. All right. Uh, okay. This dog is going to use his, uh, his attack. What does he do? He does a strength save to try to get out of here. Looks like he's still action. stuck as yes. his action. The other two dogs, Horace, unfortunately, all bite at you with both of their heads. So that's a total of four hits or attempts. So uh, only, I assume only the 26 hits you. Correct, Horace? You are muted. I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess a 26 hits. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, I, I did mute myself after yeah. my turn. But a 26 does hit. But okay. that is the only one that hits. Okay, 8 damage, and you got to roll a con save, which I'm sure well, you'll pass. Well, he is immune to disease. Yeah, Paladins oh, are immune true. to disease. Yeah. 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 Uh, I have it in here, Divine Health. I am immune to disease. Okay. So just the 8 piercing damage. Yep. But I do, I am not immune to piercing damage, unfortunately. Yeah, it's a very weird effect because it technically causes poison, but it's a disease. So. Yep. Fair enough. The rabies doesn't uh, get into your bloodstream because you are divinely protected by Yasni. Uh, let's see. I think that's all the dogs. So, Vendrick of Cohen. I did my exist. turn. You did your turn. Ooh. You're face to face I'm with your own demons. It's Ool's inner demons. It's Ool's inner demon. What do you do, Ool? Dustin. Yeah, I'm here. Just, I, I can be you for a bit. Uh, okay, Ool <laughs> blasts his, I assume, his own demon. Uh, yeah. If I remember yeah, correctly. Yeah, that's disadvantage. This... So 18 will still because, hit, I believe. Yeah. Uh, I believe the case. I forget. I only know the HP for the uh, for this guy. Oh, I will uh, uh, bring up his thing. 15. I don't think they have, like, a crazy amount of AC. Yeah, it's, it's, it's only it 15? 15. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. AC 15. First one's going to hit Roger, and I assume that's going to push him Knock back. back so 15. Go ahead and roll again. Okay. That will hit him as and well. That will also hit. So go ahead. Okay. Oh. 
Genie's Adam. Wrath. He's doing another Genie's four wrath. damage. Okay. You blast your... I assume you knocked this guy back. You blast this guy. Uh, which he's... So he'd be, he'd be knocked, knocked back 25 feet. Okay. Let's see. Or did I measure 5, 10, 15, 20, 25? Okay. Roger. 28 altogether. Uh, and then this guy's also going to go on your on his turn, and he's just going to fly right back at you unless you fly away somewhere else. You fly 30 feet towards the ground. Okay. Uh, well, this guy follows you. I guess he's not able to... What do you think? If he's blasted 25 feet back, he probably can't get within uh, within striking distance of you. But I guess What's this uh, movement? Oh, fly of 60 feet? Okay, yeah, well, he, then can, he, gets, he can make it. Then he makes it there. And uh, he talons and then beaks you. And if you wouldn't mind rolling that, because I don't have his... Uh... Oh, we got it. Seven's Talon, a miss. The beak miss. A hit. Talon hits for 19 slashing. All right, now I can talk Jesus, of course, at the end of the turn. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to hear that. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Mister uh, Dwarfadil, you come sauntering out of the tree with your, you know, your little beer belly hanging out. Uh, what do you do? Whale man. Dwarfadil's got to help the trees and the plant. He's going to care. Plant growth. Plant growth. Okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> what are you doing? So the entire... Can I get a random token? I can just make. Oh, yeah, sure. Here we go. A plant within we got range. A... Uh, are you choosing the tree? <laughs> yeah, can we, can we fucking uh, control that? Oh. Yeah, uh, you know what? I can't, but I can move it wherever you want me to move it. Uh, move it, like, right in front of me. Okay. And then put a 100-foot uh, light green aura on it. Okay. 100 feet? Yeah. Uh, light green aura. Boom. You can also, um, because we can't see it, I don't yeah, think. Yeah, I, I think. Oh, you can no. put the three dots. I, I, I can it, see it. If you click the what? three dots and click C, I think it'll do it for everybody, but you have to okay. make it so the token can be seen by three everybody. Three dots, C. All so right, now no, one, no okay. one can uh, move. Circular radius. All right, let's do that. That'll square. Oh, it's it's making it harder to get into the fight. <laughs> yep. So now nobody can move. Explain what? this to me. <laughs> you, you can move. It just a costs creature four moving foot through the of area for must every spend one foot. four feet of movement for every one foot it moves. Oh my gosh! So, a less than two squares. Yeah. So okay. You, <laughs> you can exclude you... one or more areas of any size. Okay. Oh, I can. All right. So yeah, every... are there any exclusion zones you'd like to do? I will exclude, um, here, I'll, I'll just draw it. Jake, okay. have a path through the hag. <laughs> hold on, hold on. No, no, no. There's there's a method to all of Dorfadil's madness. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but there is more madness than method, it seems. More yeah, math so than I'll, madness. I'll exclude, basically... I'll exclude, um... The gr that line is excluded. All right, everything south of that line, I assume. Yeah, everything south of that line is excluded. So all okay. you guys down there can move freely. <laughs> for now. Jeez. All right. Anything else? No, no, that's all, uh... That's all... all right. You know, Dorfadil move touch forward. Sure. Still kind of hiding in the tree. Just yeah. Slightly closer. All right. 
Well, let's see. First things first, I think we're going to have this... Uh, let's see. This guy right down here is going to boot Tootsie with his foot. He's going to give you a solid kick, Tootsie. Uh, if you make right. a DC strength save. Uh, for Tootsie. All right. Tootsie is at a plus three strength. Ah! Tootsie, oh, just... She's flying, so, too. So he, like, high kicks her out of the air. And she crashes into the berm and slides down it. Oh. Oh, oh poor Tootsie. Uh, Tootsie falls to the ground, and as she looks up, she sees a sickle coming right down on top of her. Two of them, actually, at advantage, but the 17 might not hit, but I assume 23, 23 does. hits, the 17 does not, as it clangs off of her gaily hide. All right. Sounds good. And uh, as he does, let's see, as, uh, yeah, he gives you the two wax, and then he runs over here right next to Jacob Kane. And that will right. probably provoke, since you're No, up Tootsie has already used her reaction. Oof. Okay. To uh, to to frost Dragul's arrow. Roger. Okay. Well, the uh, these two guys up here. Oh man, this is a this is a very good crowd control spell. Let's see. Uh, he is going to. I. You know what? They're both going to try to free themselves with uh with the strength saves. I assume. Yeah. yeah I mean, they can pass if they want to. They're not going anywhere. I did the I math. Assume that's... They, if they have a movement speed of 30 feet, you can move one square in yeah. this. <laughs> in this well, they're not very smart, so they're still going to attempt. Does a 16 free him? 16 frees a red cap. Okay, this guy's going to be free, and uh, he's just going to move one square. Also, DM, this red cap passed. I guess we're that's going why you didn't right. put a. Yeah, that's oh, yeah, why you didn't so... put a thing Oh, on. dude, you're totally right. All right, well... I didn't uh... catch it last turn. I'm sorry. That's okay. That's okay. All right, this guy, regardless, he's going to take one step closer, and he's just going to... Oh, swing. he can dash for another square. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's not going to do that. He throws a sling at Horus twice, which uh, I assume a 21 misses. Ooh, uh, 21... Uh, my AC is 21, so I think that does hit me. Okay, it doinks right off your helmet for six bludgeoning. Oof. Oof. Oof, indeed. <laughs> and then... Uh, That's a good... That was a strong headshot. <laughs> it's true. And then, uh, let's see. This guy steps one square forward and uh, gives you his solid kick. So you've got to make a strength save. Strength or fall. Save. Oh, wait, you're prone already, aren't you? Uh, no, I don't no, think so. No, he, he succeeded the... Oh, off my bad. Me. It was it was Tootsie. My fault. Okay, well, absolutely no problem at all. Uh, in which case, he, he tries to sickle you twice. But uh, both miss, of sickle course. me. Trying to and, sickle me. And final red cap. Again, that combo. He gives you the iron boot. Uh, Vendrick. Vendrick. 14? No, which I fails, unfortunately. And uh, he brings two sickles down onto you, 19 and 18. Uh, neither of them hit. Neither? Wow, okay. Badass. Oh, that's right. You're hasty. You're <laughs> hasty. hasted and blade songing. Oh, that's great. All right, Aya. Vedric's like rolling and, and do ducking and dodging. All right. I'm going to move right here, and then I'm going to slide down for 15. I plan on going right here. Um, I'm going to use a action. I'm casting Locate Creature. I'm looking for the Invisible Hag. Looking for the Invisible Hag. Well, okay. I'm focusing on that. I'm focusing on her, specifically. Okay, let's see. How does this work exactly? Can you... Is it just one that you've seen before? Or any hag? How does it... Can you find a specific hag with this? The nearest creature of a specific kind. Uh, 
so long as you have seen up close. Well. Saw the other one dead up you close. Found, you found, yep, that's true. The nearest creature of the specific kind. Um, unfortunately, it's the one that you can currently see. Okay. It's it, it's still good to know if uh, for the for the thousand feet, at least. Um, it does last for an hour. It does last for an hour. It. Uh, oh, sh hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I need to read something real quick. I might have fucked up my plan. Damn it! I fucked up my plan. Ah, Can I? Uh, er, can't read. Oh man. <laughs> No. What do you do, uh, Aya? Can I switch a spell for the same level? I'm going to say no. It's already been used. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, I did look I did locate creature, so at least I know where this one is. Um, that ends me. Okay. Jacob Kane. All right, dudes, I raise perfection high in the air and I make a slash at this silly little red cap in front of me. And you're at plus three right now. Yeah, yeah plus three. That, that's included in the number this time now, too, dudes. And I say, OK, this one's for my bro, Tootsie. And if he's still up, I'm going to swing again. You better swing again. Hell oh, yeah. okay. Oh, yeah. It's a shame He's, I don't uh, have a smite now. <laughs> it's a shame. Shame. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, man, a max oh. damage. Oh, man. Oh, wait, that's I, huge. That's supposed to have... Nice. They're supposed to have... Uh, what the hell? Why does I have a plus three on that? I don't know. I think I'm... No, no, okay. That's right. That's right. No, no, it's not, it's not supposed to have three on that. Subtract three from each number. Isn't it plus three magic damage? It's plus three plus yeah, three. Yeah, but that's already counted in another number for the damage that I need to adjust for. Okay. All right. Well, are you are you sure? Because it says one d eight plus five dex plus five mod plus three magic. Yeah, yeah. I have is... I have an extra plus five where one of those plus five should be a plus two. Because the magic bonus is accounting for three, but I wasn't sure if that was happening in the damage or not. But it is, it's fixed Roger. now, dudes. Roger. Oh, okay. You, uh, you, uh, slice this guy, and you know that only slightly more damage, and he would have been totally dead. You're actually not sure how he's still alive. All right, dude. Uh, I, uh, uh, I clinch my other fist and I swing on him you hit for sure and I attempt to knock and his teeth guy, out you punch his teeth out and he falls over dead nobody Done. messes with my bros dudes and then Jacob will, I guess move uh he'll move over here near the edge of uh, where he can walk in preparation to go help for us and that's turn all right this uh let's see this person this hag right here is going to do something that you have seen before and that is lightning bolt oh, let me click that and uh let's see what she does hold on a second oh. what are the components here vocal somatic and material does being restrained cut somatic components no that's uh, uh no it doesn't just... no i think it would have to be it would oh, have damn to it, i knew i should have silenced i knew i should have silenced right? yeah. well, all right lightning bolt hand. All right. It's hand motions, which you think would be blocked. I ain't by afraid of no lightning, dudes. I think I it's, guess it would depend on what kind, how restrained you are. Freak finger movements. Finger movements. Lightning's right, never stopped us before, bros. Where's the bolt? Well, let's She's see. She's gonna hit a lot of her own dudes. It seems like. Let's see. How wide is it? It's five feet it's wide. Five foot, yeah. So it's gonna hit. 
all these guys. Oh, but also three of us in a line. Yeah. Which is That's crazy what... for a fucking bolt spell on a map this large. Yeah, so I think, who would it total hit? It would hit, if I did it, it on this line. These two, these two dogs are going to get hit. Both of the uh, dogs? No, I think just the no. bottom dog. Oh, you're right. Bottom dog. But okay, bottom dog and... This... Yeah. Bottom this dog red cap, and red cap. We'll both, this uh, guy, take bottom that dog, and then Aya and Jake. And Horus. Now so don't 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 pros. tell me the passing number just yet. Okay. <laughs> All right, I won't do it. Uh. Well, what do you want to? I'm gonna use my luck point to re-roll that. Okay. All right, I'm happy you with that. Pass. All right, no damage. Right. I got evasion. Let's see, red cap. Okay. That's a pass. And uh, Death Dog. Uh, oh, if they're restrained. Ooh. Oh, he's not restrained. Never mind. <laughs> Death Dog fails. That dog certainly fails. All right. It's I believe I, uh, it's uh, 8d6. The red cap does need to re roll because the, death cap, the red cap is at disadvantage. Well, it would just be the four. Why would then, I think, right? I, he's not restrained, so why would he be at disadvantage right now? Oh, hey, I'm sorry. That's okay. All good. Um. Does, so, Horace, uh, that is a that's a failure. Mm -hmm. does, does Samurai Jake have an aura right now? I am not a high enough level of paladin to have an aura yet, dude. Sorry, bro. Okay. Ooh. Did I pass the DC? You did. Oh my god! Yeah. Hey. Yeah. So I take okay. thirty-three lightning. Correct. Now I have a question for you. Sure. I have this. Rebuke the violent. Now it only works if they make an attack. If they make. If they deal damage against a creature other than me. Okay. But he, she did deal damage to creatures other than me. Yeah, I would say that. I would say yeah. that's true. It <laughs> so, doesn't even I, say it has to be your ally. It just says creatures right. other than you. Right. So what I'm saying is, since that death dog failed its five, failed its save, uh -huh, <laughs> yeah. it took 33 damage. <laughs> it definitely can I, did. Can I give her 33 damage to rebuke her? Oh for, man. For for <laughs> animal abuse. You Wait, can reflect the. Does it reflect or just also give it back? Uh, it They take radiant damage equal to the damage it just dealt, although they do get to make a save. Okay, Half yeah, sure. They succeed. Send that back at the, the hag. Horus remembers flavor the this, time his, his puppy. Does 33 kill that dog? No, it does not. Okay, well then I can't I can't be in a, from grief, but I, I can feel like Horus had a dog growing up, you know? And, like, yes, I just killed a dog myself. But something about this tag killing this dog just really made me upset. So Electrocution's I, bad, dude. Electrocution is, like, torture. You know? Yeah. And so I so I do rebuke her for that. I say, hey! Shouldn't beat your own asshole. dog. All right. Well, she's not very wise. So uh, what's the DC for this? Uh, I think it's the same as my spell save DC, so it's actually, it's actually 17. Holy. Ooh. I'm very... Okay, well, <laughs> the green hag fails. <laughs> 33 and damage. You see, uh, Righteous Fury comes back from Horus and, <laughs> uh, you know, just blasts this disgusting, evil fey creature. And, uh, yeah, she certainly didn't like that, so... Oh, well, yeah. Let me just update that. And uh, other hag, oops, comes out of hiding and casts a little and goes and you know what goes around comes around a little bit you know and casts haste on big bad right here. Uh oh, but you know where she is. She's no longer right. invisible. 
And uh, let's see. Dragul, you're up. I guess she moves her one her one step backwards. Fendrick sees that. Ah, she's so far away. Um, still with a bow shot, though. So, Dragul will take two shots at the far hag. Okay. Um, this is not, this is a regular shot. Uh, so 18. Okay, that does hit. For 11 piercing damage. All right. And then she must make a con save. Okay. An eight. So I guess this guy's, she's no longer concentrating on haste, right? Yep. Does that just fail? Okay. So that fails and this guy gets to skip his next turn due to lethargy. Oh, all right. Um, Hell yeah! Hell yeah! One one well placed arrow. The next shot will go to the pinned hag. So this will be at advantage. Okay. For a twenty two. That does hit. For seven, and as the arrow flies, uh, it glows blue. Ah, uh, for only a single point of extra damage. So, eight damage. Alright. Um, Noted. So, eight damage to that hag. As a bonus action, uh, Dragul will sick Tootsie and she will fly over the brambles. Over here making a, uh, just a big nuisance of herself and she'll bite this bottom dog, the bottom dog. All right, go ahead. That for hits. For 21, for 12 damage. You bite this dog's tail and that's enough. Oh, yeah. He's dead. <laughs> just like, the, the frost just goes to its brain. Yeah. He just falls, <laughs> falls down. Over cold. He's done. I win. She flaps triumphantly, and that is Dragul's turn. All right. This guy suddenly just weirdly feels lethargic. Uh, Horus. Hey, hey, hey. All right. Well, having just rebuke to this hag for harming dog. I think I'm going <laughs> to harm this dog. Okay. Hopefully. With my war hammer here. Oh, right, 20. That hits. And I am going to, I'm going to put a divine smite on that. Poor dog. Sorry, dog. Oh, hell yeah. That was a good roll. Okay. <laughs> this dog is dead. You just smash him to pieces. Boom. <laughs> Splat. Splat. This is, if you're going to if you're going to harm a dog, you lady, you got to put it out of its misery. And then and then I'm going to turn no dogs were harmed in the filming of this episode. I'm going to take my second attack at this little asshole. For 24. And you know what? I'm going to put my last first level spell slot in here. I'm going to divine my hand too. All right. That hits. For 28 damage. Oh, I'm, gonna right. move, I'm gonna move five feet to here. Yeah, just, just start, start <laughs> wading <laughs> through the wading through the jungle. I guess this dog I'm run through the jungle is the last one, and uh, let's see, he's gonna try again to 
unstick himself, which he cannot do. <laughs> Vendrick, you're up. Oh, Vendrick's gonna stand up uh, with like a surprising amount of swiftness. Uh -huh. And uh, I'm going to use uh, two attacks. One of them is the haste attack. One of them is my first attack from my regular act. Okay. Uh, all right. Oh, not, it is the same thing, but it's not the two-handed. Sorry. Well, they're probably going to hit, though. Yeah. Yeah, they certainly both hit. All right. Four, eight, and 12. So 20 damage total. That's correct. Is he still up? He is. Uh, this is a pickle. Either attack again. How's he looking? Uh, he's seen better days. He's seen better days. Okay. I think what Vendrick's going to do is he is going to, uh, as a extra attack from, uh, uh, crap, extra attack from Blade Singer. I can cast a cantrip. I am going to cast a Blade Ward on myself. Okay. Uh, just to sort of beef up my defenses a little bit. Uh, and then I have 50 foot of movement, which means in this terrain, I can move exactly 12 feet. So I'm going to move 10 feet uh, this way. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, that's such a bad idea. <laughs> Does Dwarven... I don't see Dwarvenil, unfortunately. Oh, no. Oh, that's no. That's all right. That's all right. Ooh, it's not. Ooh, you are <laughs> you wanna, in battle with your inner demon still. You want to know bad ideas. All right. Bill's going to move uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. That will prompt, prompt yeah, an yeah. opportunity attack. Yeah, yeah. All right, what do you want me to roll here? Well, just roll the roll the beak. The beaky beak. Yeah, if I don't hit it. Yeah. How high, it. how high up is Ul? Uh, Ul is flying towards the ground. One ten, right? Yeah, you're about. You're about. I, was, I think you're about sixty feet up. Okay, yeah. Where this tree mind. is. Yeah. Never mind. So, um, okay, uh, that's okay. We're not doing so great with hit points. Uh, Ul is. He's gonna, he's gonna get some good idea. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what are you gonna do? What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> to, to face my inner demons, I must bring out more of my inner demons. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, I, does he just go ahead and attack right now? Well, well technically, yeah. well, technically, he's supposed. They're supposed to have their own turn orders. But the last, when we well, saw no, the it, first one, he went after it, my turn. No, no. It specifically um, says the demon goes after your turn, so that oh. means he goes. Yours goes first, and then it says it's, it's, it says roll initiative for the demon, yeah. which has its own turns. Yeah. Okay. The, less, the lesser one goes after me, but the greater one gets his own turn. But when we did the first one, we just had him go after me. So I don't know how you want to do it. Uh, flip a... Uh, roll a 1d2. Heads, he goes now. Two, he goes after this demon. Yeah. Alright, he goes now. Oh, wait, now? Oh, I think, damn. I think that's right, yeah. Get his uh, ass. That's what we said. Get his ass. Okay. Uh, get his ass. As uh, uh, yeah. Um, how's uh, con? Uh, the shriek won't help me. All right. He's gonna beak him. Okay. He's gonna talon him. Uh, both those will hit. Correct. Go ahead and roll damage. Nine plus twelve. Twenty-one. Roger. All right. I need to make 
<laughs> Wait, I need to make a. He, the demon needs to make a charisma saving throw at the end of his turn, or he's breaking free. Your then, own this demon right here. Uh, at the end of each demon's turn, it makes a charisma saving throw. The demon has to disadvantage of the saving throw if it's. Uh, yeah. Okay. 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 So <laughs> he's not free deep. yet. No. This guy. He knows what's up, and he's pissed that you had another one. And he goes over and, uh, yeah, he beats and talons you as well. Wait, does it provoke? Oh, yeah, it uh, provokes. All right, I, I just need to get as much attacks out of this one before it goes away. Okay. Oh, my God, both don't hit. The Both 11s don't hit you? Yeah, no, buddy. I see, AC's 14, and then I don't know if Horus has his shield still up or not, but... He does. Okay, yeah, yeah, nice. So. so neither one hits you. Good. Oh. Uh, then you do another 10 piercing of this one, and uh, you're, uh, you're, you live to fight another day. <laughs> Dwarf the day. You've just shown that you have intense power over nature. Oh, where exactly is the Chimera? Uh, uh, probably, I don't know, like 10 feet above the ground right now. Okay. He didn't land, but he is uh, flying okay. above these roots. All right. I just want to apologize for what I'm about to do. I understand. Is it as bad as summoning two greater demons? No, it's... it's uh... I, I'm apologizing to Nate, not uh, oh, not okay, nice okay, okay. unlike somebody who, who should be apologizing to themselves. Well, you do what you gotta do. I don't Garfdale. know who he's referring to. Garfdale looks at the tree. He goes, "Don't worry, man. I'll put up a big wall to protect you, man." <laughs> <laughs> he casts wall of thorns. Wall of thorns. Okay, where do you? Okay, uh, I'm reading this. Go ahead and draw your wall of thorns. Oh, I'm pretty sure. Level spell. Yeah. Does that drop concentration on the other spell? I don't. Yeah, it's concentration. Is plant growth concentration? Yeah. Uh, well, here. Let me look. I think it is. Oh no, it's instantaneous. So never yeah. mind. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Good. No! Oh, we're talking about wall of thorns. Okay. So Dorfidel can actually go here, here, and up to here. So go ahead and draw it. Okay. So it's basically going to go here. I can't draw. Come on. I just want to know here. if the bitches are still visible to this side. Let's see, 60 feet long? Yep. Okay, they are. So, both the hags, two of the little red boys, and the Chimera are all caught in this. Okay. Did they roll damage right now or on their turn? Uh, so it's on first cast, it's enter, and it's end of turn. So they when roll... When the wall appears. Yeah. Yeah, so they take it now if they choose to stay in it or if they decide to walk through it. Yeah. Okay. So they got to roll at all deck of those. Save. Yeah, deck save. Okay. Let's see. Hag first. Well, both hags, I guess, right? Yep. yep. All right. Let me go ahead and roll that. Uh, it is 10 feet six. high, so it will hit the Does the again. movement yeah, cost so stack? I think they do. <laughs> think so they every do. one foot is like, what, eight feet of movement? Yeah. Or yeah. something like that? <laughs> yes. They do stack. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So okay, they both so... take 31. Okay, both hags take thirty-one. Let me mark. Let me mark that oh, down. Dude, oh, man. they're. Oh boy. Actually, that will be a little bit All right. Uh, Chimera. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I don't have any um... thorn combat music. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's a uh, that's unfortunate. I'm gonna. I've got too many. I've had too many things up right now. Why? Uh, okay. And 
Chimera needs to make a dex save. That's too funny. This and hag 18. cannot move out of her he square. So he takes okay. 15. He, de he does take 15. All right, I will mark that. Okay, and then I guess this little guy right here. Uh, uh, both of them. Yeah, both of them, right. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Okay. Uh, red caps, dex 13 and an 8. So Three, they both take 31 one. as well. The This guy over on the left, the thorns grab him and then just rip him apart. <laughs> <laughs> and he, uh, you know, you get the idea that he is uh, watering this tree with the blood of uh, enemies. And uh, this one... Uh, uh, almost gets torn apart, but uh, but he's still alive. And uh, shit. Well, they uh, it's a uh, it's their turn now. Unless you're doing anything else, Dwarfadil. Uh, Dwarfadil is gonna take uh, a few feet step back into the tree and kind of just hide. All right. Does uh. Does this wall stop vision? Uh, do I need vision? Of everybody else. It is 10 it feet high. It blocks line of sight. Yeah, okay. It says this wall blocks line of sight. Oh, yeah, yeah. it does. So the hag so like the hags are on our side. The hags okay. are on their side. The chimera is kind of halfway in it. All right. Uh, so. All right. Actually, guys... yeah, the hags can't even see me. Yeah. All right, red cap's turn. This red cap right here is going to try to kick over Horus uh, with his solid kick. Uh, and we're going to see what happens there. Brad, go ahead and make a strength save, which you're pretty good at. Ooh, oof, not good enough. Oof, you do go prone. You do go prone. Do I go flying back or I'm just prone? No, you're just pr I think you're just prone. All right, I fall over. Oof, is creature. Oh, yeah, it's not an okay. attack. Okay. That's right. Uh, you're sickled twice by this guy. Only one, Ooh. I think, hit. Unless it's a 23. Yeah, Maybe a 23 does The 23 hit does hit me. Okay. Wait, wait. I have a response. Finally. Somebody was in 30 feet. Um, uh, let me get it. Let me get it. It is this right here. Tell me what it does. I can create a ward of divine shadows that conceal myself, or I can conceal a creature. Um, he gets a... Was it... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Disadvantage like... on the attack roll. Yeah, you have disadvantage on the attack roll. Okay, and how long does this last? Just for that one it's attack? Just for that one. Um, attack by a creature, you can impose disadvantage as a shadow envelops you. Uh, an attack a creature can't be blinded, um, is immune to this feature. Um, I believe it's just for that attack, yes. Okay. The other guy, seeing an opportunity, this guy right here, uh, he's got 10 range on his sickle, and he also swings twice at you. Ooh. 22 and an 18. Now that 22 is going to hit. Okay. For 13 damage. All and, right. For uh, real this time. For real this time. And, uh, yeah, I think that's... Let's see. I think... What's he going to do? He's going to step one step this direction. Uh, and the other guy, he's going to do the same thing. He's going to try to boot you, uh, Vendrick. All right. And whether or not that works. Oh, yeah, you're up. You're fine. See. You're actually supported by the overgrowth of vines. Yeah. This guy still attempts. Uh, so he has a 16, but I don't know if that... Definitely uh, deflects. Def definitely deflects both. Aya, your friends are under attack. Wait, wait, wait. That guy just ended his turn still in the Wall of Thorns. I think it, at oh, the, yeah, this he, point, it's like whether or not they move into the thorn. I thought it said if you end your turn still it's, in it. It's, okay. So or end its turn there. And he, I don't think he actually has the movement to walk away with how that movement Well, it's not like stacks. a wall of fire. If you end your turn there, you must make the deck saving throw. That's what it says. Yeah, so the way that it works is it works much like the wall of fire which is yes. it, it only affects it right when you cast it or and then well and after that it's if you move through it or end your turn in it 
So he would have to make another deck save if he does not move out of it. All right. Well, can he even move one step? Is I think question. one step cost him 40 feet <laughs> he, of movement, if I'm not mistaken. He he could if he had dashed, um, but unfortunately. He <laughs> okay. Did not. So he's going to make the deck save again, <laughs> which he oh. mega fails. And then I guess. What? How much damage is that? Go ahead he and roll that damage. He takes more damage. Thirty-one more damage. Then uh, this guy, again, gripped by the thorns and just ripped to pieces. And he thinks, "Damn, I really shouldn't have attacked that paladin." <laughs> <laughs> Did I? Well, that's why you rolled double ones. Yeah, that's He's true. Like, oh, fuck. oh fuck! All right, Aya, you're up. Okay, I want to be able to jump from here to here you want to because you wanna yeah jump. It, yeah so this way i can because i need to get within range and if i jump i can make the landing there because it's flat because it's all this is the only area where it's flat terrain so basically right, if I, I got I, like a running star from here i want you to roll 2d6 if you okay. if this is a great success you can do it it's, it's a six ah do it anyway it's cool Okay. <laughs> All right. So I go here. As okay. my action. As my action. I know where she is. Don't get me wrong. I'm going to upcast as I'm going to focus and like my hair is going to glow as I'm going to banish both hags. Don't do at that. Fifth... Why? Oh my God. Why would you do that? They're, They're banished. So They're banished. She did it. Turn. Oh, I did it. God. Jesus. They're, both right. They're both so dead as soon as they start their next turn. <laughs> this banished. one can't even move even if she tries. <laughs> okay, and how long are they banished for? Well, they have to make a charisma save, I will say. Okay, well, they are horrible yeah. at that. So let's let's see what happens here. <laughs> They're so what dead. What if they want to be banished but, at this point? <laughs> I, I think they want to go. I think they want to get... Left one? Can you be a this willing creature? This one is creature? so covered in right plants. Cassis, he ain't, she ain't leaving. They oh, they ain't leaving. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. My fucking fifth level spell is out the damn window. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Who would have thought that... that that the enemy succeeding in banishing or getting banished is actually the better of the two options. <laughs> like unless unless Aya was about to give up concentration at the end of her turn, that was a horrible move. <laughs> I could I could have easily yes yes in fact it just blinked them back in. Yeah, and then they would have got been... hit, and then it would have been their turn, and they would have ended. Yes. They would have got hit again. Exactly. Yes, that's exactly okay. what I was going for. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Hundred percent what she was going okay, for. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Some real seventy chess. This is uh, yeah. This is pretty pretty incredible. Pretty incredible. Uh, Jacob Kane, what are you doing? Well, dude, haven't seen I just do this running start <laughs> jump thing. I think I'm gonna try to get over to that dude by Vindrick if that's possible. I'm gonna. So that's a uh, ten feet gone of forty-five. From, from then, Jake's perspective, he turns around. He sees a wall with two demons. It, he says, "Fuck that." Yeah, I'm gonna get out of here, dude. And then uh, I'm gonna spend. I'm gonna spend a key point to do step of the wind, so my jump distance is doubled. And then okay. I. So I'll run a total of fifteen on the approach. And then I make the jump however much more I'm able to... Uh, I'll move to total 15 there. I make the jump. It said I can do 28 feet. I think I can only make it 25. What's your max? My max movement is 45. Like I said, I used 15 on the back up and approach. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you moved 10 to oh, back Oh, wait, up. no. I moved... Yeah. So, again, I can jump about 25 because the calculator says 28 so i'm just going to shrink that down so that accounts for that extra five feet uh for backing up and then the approach hey All right. that's, so where that's are you trying to you could have run however where are you trying to jump to where is that let me just make sure i got it like right next to the basically here that's exactly 25 right. for the jump so is your total movement farther than your turn would have normally allowed? 
So no. my total speed is 45. It depends on if this jump gets me over this overgrowth or how that affects me when I'm in the air. His total movement is fine because he is a monk. So he I'll has say a lot I'll say you could do it. You could do this. All right, dude. And then uh, I raise perfection high in the air and I attempt to slash this guy a new one. You do hit. 17. Oh, right in the back. Is he still up? He's still up. All right, I'm going to... I'm just gonna try to unarm strike him real quick. That hits him. For another six, dude. All right. And that is Jacob Kane. You punch this guy in the back to death. <laughs> to death. <laughs> I, I just punched through his heart on the other side. <laughs> All right. Go All right. Work. All right, Vendrick, go get that uh that creature, dude. I'll try to get it. Hopefully it doesn't fly away. All right. Green Hag, I think, can take one step, right? Or literally no, no steps. She, she, Every she five has double is movement. eight feet. Roger. Okay. Uh, so, maybe with a dash? Hold on. Uh, yeah, we can figure that out. If, oh, wait, no. Dash, okay. maybe. Nope, she's not going to dash. She's okay. not going to. She's... Uh, She's throwing a, uh, she's throwing a lightning bolt, and she's gonna put it at level four. Okay. Oh, no. Where's she pumping? Can I not Where's be in it this time? <laughs> she's trying to hit the most people possible. Let's see. Oh God. See. Right there, group of three. Again, I think. Oh no. Right there, I think that would hit two, or would that, that hit her own people? She, so hits. she has a choice of hitting. Either us two and none of her people, uh -huh. or three of us but one of her people. Wait. I think she's going for. I think she's going for uh, these people down here. Yeah. Well, she uh, can only hit. She can only hit one because that that goes through. Oh, does it hit both? Yeah, it's gonna hit the both of us. Cause, cause that doesn't pass through either of your y'all squares. It's if it's right there, so that that'll be like a miss, right? The line that I have right here is just missing both of y'all. No, no, because it's five foot out of the line. So technically, it's three squa squares across. Think of it like that, right? So if you put oh. that line between us, then it's going to hit me and and him. So it's fine. I mean, it's all right. No, yeah. if it only hits one, it only hits one. I think no, it I'm hits both sure. from that logic. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it hits both of us. Because we're okay. only one square difference in terms of, like, horizontal. Okay. Well, she's going to roll damage. Let's, let's dodge it, dude. Together. It's only it's only 32. All right. <laughs> oh. I crit fail, but I only take <laughs> half. Uh, does a 14. That does not, that does not pass. Let's I am going to absorb elements as a reaction. Okay. Uh, half of the, uh, the lightning. All right, she's going to roll her dex save, which is an only 11. So I assume she takes 31 again from this thing. Is there no yeah. re-roll in damage? No, when it comes to walls, it's just the roll at the one damn, time. Dude, so like damn. wall of fire, wall of force. All right. All right, noted. She's looking pretty hurt. Right, I took 16. You see Vendrick like put up a, a, a rune, which then turns into a shield that kind of buffers some of that blast. Yeah. Dragul. Easy. What happens to this hag, DM? Oh, then uh, did they take the damage after their turn? I assume it's at the end if they end their turn in it. So it's once her okay. turn is over. OK, yeah. well, then this this hag is also it's going so, to uh it's, so, it's super fun there's nothing it can do except yeah uh, how, how much how much plant is this hag covered in it's right it's now? uh it's basically <laughs> only her right arm is uh <laughs> visible <laughs> uh so she's gonna do the lightning bolt as well and just try to hit as many people as it possibly can we're gonna let's see we're gonna do the measurement and uh, 
Probably something like that. Yep. For 34. All right, Tootsie will Could roll. Could be dex saves. So Aya, Horus, and Tootsie. You said dex save? Dex save. Uh, Horus, uh, do, you, do you have an aura, and is it 10 feet? Uh, yes. I think he does. It should be. You should, you should get a plus he has four. A four. Okay. All right. So, so I've got a d twenty plus six. So only a twelve. So Tootsie takes thirty four. Oof. All right. Add four to this roll. All right. You pass. Okay. You Tootsie's take, not uh, like seventeen. Tootsie. I believe. Four yeah. Maybe had to yeah. When he comes back, we'll, uh, we'll we'll cover that. All right, so, but then she ends her turn and uh, gets again ripped apart by the plants. <laughs> what the fuck? just smiling and nodding as like yes, blood is feeding <laughs> the tree. <laughs> uh, okay, hey, Dragul. Tree god, man. You can all enjoy the undead and learn about undead rites. The iron is good for the tree. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Um, how how far are Ul and the demon? How, how high up are they? Uh, not that high, if I remember correctly. I don't remember. What, does anybody else remember? Aren't they like basically, basically on the ground? It's like pretty close. It's, it's the like treetop tree level. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, Dragul's at the base of the tree. So since we don't know for sure, uh, we'll roll of cool it maybe. DM. And uh, Dragul will spend all of his movement to climb the tree because of his climbing speed. I think that's allowed. All right, we're allowed 60 feet up get to the top and he will uh, I guess he dropped his bow at the bottom because of weird 5e item stuff and uh, pulling the broken sword he'll make an attack at the rock all right go ahead um which in Fortunately, okay, so it's not magical, so it will probably uh, have resistance to this damage, I imagine. I do not believe so. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, oh, oh, does it not have, like... No, it does. It does. It has Demonic resistance, resistance oh, to... It does. You're right. Rip. Yeah. Well, um, you but we will, we will favored foe it uh, if we hit. A uh, fourteen. Unfortunately, that does not hit. Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah. Well, we'll get another uh, attack <laughs> for an oh. That also misses. <laughs> Drago climbs the tree to Ool's rescue and flails around in the top branches. It's all right. <laughs> I Rip. just realized. I just realized we never rolled for his, uh, the demons disappearing. Because when they break free, you're supposed to roll 1d6. And then if they don't run out of HP by the time uh, the round that you rolled comes by, they get sucked back to well, wherever we know they it's get been two rounds. Yeah. So if you want to roll it now, or is that how you want to do it, Nate? When, uh, when it gets to, well... yeah. When it gets to your gets turn, back. we'll do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah when it gets to your turn, yeah. we'll do it. Is that uh, everything, Ul? Or Drugul? Uh, no. He still has his bonus action. So as a bonus action, uh, he'll look to Tootsie and make a sharp whistle, and she will dive bomb this last red cap. Okay. Try to bite him. Diving in. That certainly hits. For six. question six it is it is six okay sounds good he takes that damage and that sucks 
Uh, but now it's the uh, it's the Chimera's turn, and I'll say with one of his heads, he certainly saw Dwarfadil duck, uh, and he is flying, and he but he is barely touching this on the on the top of this wall. He finally gets to go, and he's going to go towards you. He's going to fly over here, of course, taking the uh, extra movement, uh, but that's not enough to stop him completely. Boom. And he pokes his, uh, he pokes in here. What's his total movement? Fly speed? 100 feet? 80 total. Oh, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. So he gets in here, and he plops down, and he oh. comes in, and he looks at you, Dwarfadil. He's going to attack you first with, oops, I've got the Vrock pulled up. One second. He's going to attack you first with the bite, which misses. Uh, then he's going to use his horns on you. The goat horn is going to try to bonk you for a 19. Uh, I believe that's going to hit, yeah. Okay. And then he's going to use his... Uh, his uh, he's going to draw on his lion's blood to make his next attack with advantage. And that's going to be Claws. Oh. Oh, well. no, Dwarfadil. All right, how much? Well, very luckily, okay. he rolled a one. So uh, What about the so, horns? Oh, yeah, horns. Yeah. 15, okay. so 38 total to you. All right. Got and that ends, his, that ends his turn. Mr. Horus. Well, Dwarfadil does have to make some concentration checks. I oh, oh yes. that's true. Uh, two con checks, right? Yes. I think just yeah. That is a ten for the uh, first one, which is unfortunately I think that is gonna fail, right? Because it it's it's half of twenty three. Yeah. So that's right. You'd have to make a twelve. To okay. No wait, that. wait, wait. Hold on. In order of the way they were rolled, though, it would mean that the first one is the 15 so half of 15 is less than 10 and so it'd be 10 so you would pass the second well, one is the crit which is the, the 23 20 that he the 20 plus 3 is the damage for the oh well, hey you're right you're yeah right. yeah it's 15 all right fair first, enough so, so yeah. you still have all your concentrations up right yeah okay uh, i'm sorry i didn't mean to um actually um actually um, totally actually. fine i like that show <laughs> yeah <laughs> All right. Uh, you're in a sticky situation, Dwarfadil, but I'm sure you'll get out of it. Uh, Bobbins, you're over here, and while you were gone, you did take, well, potentially take another lightning bolt. Oh. Uh, so I think you have to roll a dex save. Uh, yeah. And it's uh, 33 damage. Ooh. Oof. All right. Oof, you do take 33. All right. Do, do, kind of feels it. like your own team's working against you with this uh <laughs> with this overgrowth yeah you guys are really making it hard for me over here all right i'm going to uh i'm going to get up uh dust myself off uh and you know i i'm actually i am actually going to i think probably lay some hands on myself yeah I'm gonna lay. I'm gonna lay all my hands on myself. I'm just gonna start rubbing myself. It's you guys are gonna be uncomfortable with. How and I'm right next to you. Yeah, I'm gonna make eye contact with you while I do it. I will look away. <laughs> You're but blushing you still, a little bit. Yeah, you no, can still I'm not feel blushing. Me. I'm not blushing. You're you grimacing. can still feel my eyes on you. <laughs> uh, it's like the uh, uh, I'm gonna do it for all the money there. I'm gonna put 65, <laughs> 65 hit points back in Tootsie's myself. Like, Tootsie's like staring like back at me, and like we're just like trying to avoid making eye contact in that direction. Uh, uh. And then right, Tootsie see. just Tootsie but, just licks her eyeball. <laughs> But that is unfortunately my action. So 
Well, uh, I'm just gonna look tough at this at this gut little man next to me here. He looks tough back at you, but also up at you. Yeah. Uh, I just... I also I am rubbing my nipples while I look at him because I'm still laying my hands. Uh, he also grimaces. Does Horus have? Does his armor have nipple armor? Are you? Do you have <laughs> like Roman so. armor, Horus? They poke it's through the chainmail. Yeah, it's sea dwarf armor, so everyone knows that sea dwarves have, they have little uh, like hinges that you can, <laughs> yeah, exactly like this guy. <laughs> All right, DM. Uh, this dog. <laughs> That's an intelligence check, DM. That is an intelligence check. The dog is not smart enough to do anything, so he tries to wriggle free. He's still stuck. Fuck him. It's Vendrick's turn now. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> Vendrick. Vendrick is very worried for his friend Dwarf Adil. He just looks up and he sees it, him getting fucking bought. Um, fuck. How? Vendrick is a monster hunter. How hurt does this thing look? Is there a... Could I maybe make some sort of medicine or nature check mm. to, to determine well, that? Not like exactly, just yes. kind of make a, a... Make a nature check. Okay. Okay. You know how when people say, oh, don't use a handgun on that bear, you'll just make it mad. Yeah. That's what this is. Okay. So he's not bloodied, but he's not hurt enough. He's, he's hurt mad. enough to be pissed. He's pissed. Okay. How often have we hit him? I hit him once. He did he fail the the wall? Did we do I remember that. He took the appearance uh, of the wall damage, right? Yes. It would have been at did. least half of that if he didn't fail it. Uh, Chimera took half of it, I think, because he rolled an eighteen. He got three poison damage from a rock. So three poison damage from a rock. I'm just like doing the math in my head to try to figure out if it's. I mean, fuck it. I mean, I think this is probably the only thing I can do conceivably. Um, Vendrick is going to move up 10 feet. Can he get closer? That's not going to put me in the wall if I move here. I don't think. If I dash with my haste. No, it'll right? put you in the wall. That'll the put wall you in the wall right there. Okay, yeah. okay well, I'll, can I... Oh, you shit. can be there can without I see? being hit. But can I get there? And, will I still see the, the thing, I, or do I need to be here? Well, that wall's 10 feet high. Uh, and the brambles are but pretty he's, thick. So. He's pretty high up, because I'm trying to focus on the kind No, of he's so. landed down, and he's in this nook. How tall uh, is he? Oh, he's he? in the lower... Yeah, he's... I thought... He's, okay, yeah, sorry, he's like I thought... got his head in the fucking... He's big, but he's, you know... In this situation, he's crouched down fighting... Uh, you know, down in this hole. I, I would say that from this vantage point, you probably can't see him because of this wall. Otherwise, you would be able to. Yeah, can I see the tips of his wings and stuff? Like, this isn't... This you know is he's there. Determine, this you is know just where a determined he is. radius, I will say. It's not to, like, directly hit him with something. Yes. Um, and you hear so him roaring and roaring bleeding. And making, and it, making quite a quite a tussle. A ruckus. Vendrick is going to to let out a, a strange whisper and he's sort of carving a rune in the air and he's aiming s above the uh the uh chimera by quite a bit better not hurt um, this tree it won't hurt the tree as he goes sleep uh and he is going to cast at fifth level sleep whoa um we're going to hope I roll enough. So that is 44 plus 32 would give 76? me 76. Does he have 76 hit points? He or does. Less? He has As he yes! falls he to slumber. Wait, uh, here I will. No, no, no. Oh, he, has, he, has he, has, he has more HP than that. Than 76. Oh. Damn. Oh. Oh. That is well, a it was worth it. It was really the only thing I could do from this sort of angle. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to get there. That's all right. Uh, unfortunately, the three heads are awake 
and uh, still raging in this tree. Uh, All right, do you do it's anything okay, else? It's okay. Um, oh, I still have a bonus action. I still have technically one more square of movement because I had to dash with my haste. Uh, I am going to move. I think I'm going to move this way, just kind of up towards the hag one square. All right. And then bonus action. I don't think I don't want to do anything. I think that's going to be it for Vendrick. All right. Ooh, you're in a battle with your own demons down here. What do you do? So he's got one more turn left after this. Yeah. And roll it for yeah. the next guy as well. Might as well. Uh, well, I mean, he has broken out. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, don't, 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 make, don't make it. Don't make assumptions here. Sorry, I don't, I don't want to. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Short sell. You. Chico's going to look at Wool and just be like, I hate this spell. When it works, it works. All right, so you're going to blast when has it him. Worked? You're, it's worked? It's at disadvantage, so. Yeah, that's the 17. 17 yeah, still was... I assume, though. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. So right. that'll push the big, the original OG one away. Okay. Um, and then I'll blast it again, which will All hit. Right. You'd certainly hit. So I'll blast it and add four to that. Okay. And let's see. So 24. 24. Roger. Uh, well, it was like, but it works, it works, but it doesn't often work. All but right. we have another friend. Attack him. <laughs> nice. Well, wait. Does it, doesn't he go after this one? No, no, no. He goes before. You're totally right. Never mind. Okay, so uh, both of those are going to hit for 30. Oh, it doesn't wait. matter. It doesn't wait. matter. Oh, wait. It's what? regular piercing. Oh. What? Okay, you're right. Uh, yeah, it has damage resisting to He's piercing and slashing well, from non magical attacks. Unfortunately. And of rocks yeah. attacks are considered non-magical but they are themselves are magical <laughs> i know it's I what to down. say about that can we just it's let the them fly up and fight each other or something dragon ball z style yeah <laughs> they're horrible <laughs> they're horrible <laughs> they are this guy's gonna yeah, there is damage resistance on it so yeah they do take half from it right. unfortunate <laughs> As it passes to his turn. <laughs> okay. Well, oh, wait. Well, no, he needs to make... My guy needs to make a charisma check. Why is that? Oh, no. oh, here we go. Oh, no. Here we go. Uh, does not beat my DC of 16. I'm starting to oh. think I should have thrown that sleep this way instead. <laughs> you would have put him to sleep. That's for damn sure. So uh, he doesn't break out. Okay, but... he doesn't break out. I'm going to get hit here. Well, we don't know. You didn't get hit last time. First the beak. Yes. Then the talons. No. Nope. Yes. Uh, I will pop a um, shit. The metallic wings? Uh, mm. where I have too, too many things. Yeah, metallic wings. A gift of the metallic dragon. So some uh, metallic wings go ahead and block... It does add four to his AC that does uh, stack um, on his shield. Hey, um, it's five feet of you. We are. Uh, he's next to you up in I'm, the tree branch. The tr I thought the trees only went up to twenty feet up in there because you guys are right next to each other. Okay. okay. Yeah. So does this block? Does this uh, apply for both attack struggle or just one? Uh, I think that would only apply to the to one, one. The beak attack. Yeah. I think okay. the talons, it still beats the talons. All right, talons only does 12 slashing, no. And then I think that's the end of this guy's turn. And oh, he, well, I uh, need to make a concentration check. But that's true. Because I, I took it, damage. It's yep. for the other one. Go ahead and roll that. But this guy, he poofs yeah, away. Yes, I'll pass, yeah. Okay. Crisis averted. Do you do anything else? Ooh. I don't think that's... I think that's it. I almost expected uh, it a failure. We were just right back to Scorpion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I honestly, I wanted to go play Square <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't, You can't do anything else, can you? 
I can move. Okay, yeah, do that if you want. Uh, uh, as all sitting at one HP. Nah. <laughs> nah. Yeah, Ul's, Ul's gonna chill out here. Okay. Uh, Dwarfadil, you are cornered, it looks like. Or are you? How brave is Dwarfadil? You gotta roll for that. No, I Can feel like it's fast the rest of the party. Oh, I could, I, could easily, I could easily escape this situation, or I could do something very brave. <laughs> Up to you, man. Get busy, does dude. think the tree? Does Dwarfadil think the tree is in danger? That's really the big thing. I would agree no. with that. Yeah. Get pity, dude. No, I don't think the tree's in danger. In like a, you know, next few hours span. Um, <laughs> in fact, it's good for the next year. Yeah, probably with all this fucking plant growth. No, that's, according to the spell, it's good for the next year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> should, should I be brave? Yes. Okay. Polly. Oh, nice. All right. What are you turning into? Oh, it's not what I'm turning into. <laughs> it's what it's turning into. <laughs> nice. Yeah. It's what the chimera is turning into. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, man. Yeah. If you want to live in a tree, you should be a squirrel. And the spell save DC. <laughs> all right. A wisdom all right. save. A wisdom save. I need to. I need to do one uh, thing. Turn on the scripts. Ten. Oh. oh. Uh, it has to be okay. a challenge rating of equal or uh, well. Oh, Are there wait, any? No, never mind. Or less. Equal or lesser. Yeah. Equal or lesser of what? Of the chimera. Yeah, so that I mean, yeah, he can make it a squirrel. Into a squirrel. Or a T-Rex. Or okay. But he's going to get turned into a squirrel. Understood. Question, guys. Yeah. And I know I probably shouldn't be asking. But uh, <laughs> no spells can be cast in defense of this, correct? By this uh, by this hag? I do not believe uh, so. Counter he spell? Have line of sight. Yeah, technically, concentration doesn't... Well, that's a Magic the Gathering question. No, she she doesn't have line of sight or line of effect is the issue. All right. Because if she's on the other side of the tree and can't see it... The wall? She can't that's spell. true. The what wall state concentration? Do. Is that going to go down? When he the casts wall would drop. The wall would drop. The wall would drop. Yeah, yeah, but I don't think she'd have sight in time, right? Unless, unless this is the hag with the eye. It is no. a reaction. Actually, yeah, this is uh, this is not the one with the eye. The one over here is the one with the eye. Yeah. Oh. So, so, she's so the thing is that the the wall wouldn't go down until he casted it, and even if he did, it's on the other side um, because the oh, caster yeah. is targeting the other caster, right? They're not. You're not targeting the the creature being affected by it. So. Yeah, because he's inside the okay, tree. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Fair enough. All right, yeah. let's see. It's a, a DC 16 to, to defend against this. Let me pull up the... I've got so many. Oh, yeah, it's it's a big save suck, y'all. It is. Uh, it's a big save for suck. It you had two of them thrown suck. at him. Let's see how you do. Okay, and it's... Uh, it's oh, what is this? Yeah, it's a wisdom. Save? Yep. Okay, not very good at this. Yes, oh, dude. Yeah. <laughs> oh. He's just a fuzzy little squirrel, a three-headed squirrel. <laughs> a 300-pound, 500-pound squirrel, I guess. No, he's a tiny <laughs> little squirrel. He's a tiny, tiny little three-headed squirrel. All right. Squirrel's <laughs> 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 new friend. There you go, or at least the, at least the next hour. Now you can live with the tree, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the red cap over here. He's, oh man, he's just, just going to do what he knows. He's going to boot Horace because Horace is right there. Horace, make a, a, a strength 15. Come on now. Come on, man. Yeah. All right, you make it. One way or another, this guy swings his swang. And, Don't do uh, him dirty like that. I guess they both. Those are both gonna miss. Yes, they both miss. Aya, you're up. At me. All right, we're gonna 
I'm gonna move. Hag is no five... longer entwined in thorns. That's one thing. That's true. All right. Yeah, but I can only still move five feet. So. Fuck it. Most. I could. She could either fail a save or I could guarantee it. I'm just gonna cast silence over where she is. Okay. No verbal components from this bitch. All right. Put so... Radius sphere, which is bigger than a normal uh, thing, because it's a radius. Okay, and it's right on top of her, yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. So there's no silence. There's no speaking uh, for her. I'm just gonna put a a big. Let's see. Yep. 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 I'm gonna put a. Just put a token big... like underneath her. All right. I'll just do something like that. Yeah. Uh, and we know. We know it's bigger, but... Yeah. You know. We all fine. know. We all know. All right, Aya, is that what you do? Yes. All and right. I moved. I moved five feet, because that's all, all right. I can move. I'm, I'm assuming with 30 feet. Jacob. All right. I use my action to take the dash action, and I spend a key point to take the dash action again as a bonus action, so I can move a total of 30 feet. <laughs> yeah, get and uh, yeah. I think my movement has me crossing just into the realm of silence. But as right as I'm about to go into it, I look back at Vindrick and I say, "Come on, Vindrick, let's get pit." And that is <laughs> Samurai Jacob's turn. Okay. <laughs> Vindrick just nods. He knows. This uh, this fucking uh girl, she goes uh, what is she gonna do? She's gonna. She can't do anything with a, a verbal component yet. Yeah. Let's see. Does everything have a verbal component to it? I assume. A good chunk of things do. Because I was gonna everything. make a mute character. That's funny. Uh. Ooh. Uh, da, 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 da. Everything has verbal, dude. That's really funny. Yeah. Uh, it's such a good spell. <laughs> Silence is so good. We very and she's rarely crowd use it. That's so funny. Yep, she can't move, she can't cast. All right. She can move one square if she dashes. All right, all right, all right. She's gonna... <laughs> no, I she was can gonna move hold two. Her. She can She's move gonna... two was... squares now if she dashes. Yeah, I was, gonna... I was gonna hold person, but I'm gonna be honest, like... <laughs> that's that's, that's Dragool, next. you're up. <laughs> all right, Dragool, now that... Uh, uh... Not next. Now that Ul is no longer menaced by that particular demon, we'll cast uh, a shuttle on stride, which right. drops the entangle. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, your your doggy can, can <laughs> finally the dog move. can finally move, huh? Okay. Uh, and he's gonna dash. Uh, so he can dash for 110 feet. So down the tree. And he's actually not affected uh, by the overgrowth because he cannot be uh, slowed by plants or damaged by them. All right. Uh, so I don't know how tall that tree is. 20 feet, roughly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you can move 90 feet from here. All right, go ahead. Oh, that will pro yep. provoke. It actually doesn't because of a Shardalon stride. Instead of provoking, it just deals 1d6 fire damage to it. <laughs> okay, sounds good. <laughs> this dog takes four. <laughs> He's gonna run up here and deal <laughs> run up here to save him, but deal damage to the squirrel. Alright, sounds good. <laughs> He's just be like, are you alright? Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, How much damage does he do to the squirrel? Right? And, he, and he comes up to his friend who's caught in this blob of silence. <laughs> and I just imagine his mouthing no. <laughs> but but Trigo can't hear him. <laughs> and it's he gonna does deal at least one point. five damage to the squirrel. Oh man! Oh, All right, noted. Squirrel. <laughs> it's 
squirrel's got a lot of HP. Uh, the squirrel, how much? I mean, how much damage does a squirrel have, DM? Because, like a squirrel, does anybody know? Does anybody oh, have? We're it? using the. Um, we're using, this is a healthy squirrel. This is a healthy squirrel. This is not. I, no, a, I, there is no it, squirrel stats. There is a no. homebrew squirrel stat. <laughs> that's I that's imagine one it's hit one. point. Yeah. It's one hit point. Oh. Yeah. Okay. That's hilarious. Yeah, because because <laughs> a rat a rat is one hit point. It's right yeah. before it's basically turn a tree too. Rat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. But a polymorph this... creature doesn't take the hit points no, of the creature. No, it polymorph. No, so a poly... It's like extra yeah, hit so points and then it changes works back. Like, yeah, it looks it works like wild shape. So. If he has one hit point and he loses one hit point, he becomes the Chimera again and takes four hit extra damage. Oh, maybe don't hit the squirrel. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> just, just wait. Just wait a little bit. <laughs> oh. Or do you, or do you, Does that push Dragul back hit, at all? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Just in time for it to take its turn. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh no. god. Uh yeah, uh well So it takes four fire damage. It certainly does. I've I've marked that down already. Um give me just a second to map this out. Um I suppose I'll play the Chimera fight music here. Okay, uh, so as this happens, yeah, Dracul still has 20 feet of movement, so he's gonna run away 20 feet. Okay, he's gonna run into the tree. Wait, do we have can we move uh, now? Is our is you that know, you can't move that far? I can move, uh, oh, wait, yeah, he he can uh, because, no. uh, no, no, I can't because I, I had moved down, the 20 feet that I used was the 20 feet. The 20 feet that I was going to use was the 20 feet I used to move down the tree. So I'm stuck there. Also, Overgrown doesn't affect his movement. Yeah, he's, he's not affected ranger. by oh, Overgrown. Okay, okay. All right. Anything else, Dragul? Nope. Dragul, uh, I'm sticking <laughs> by it because I thought it was hilarious. I mean, it's not that I yeah. didn't know that that would happen. But yeah, it just I mean, it seems hilarious. like what the character would do. Run yeah. to help his friend and accidentally burn a squirrel. <laughs> That's okay. The Chimera does take four damage. Because it yes. was one damage to the squirrel. Yes, or to the Chimera. Uh, uh, Dracul does have a bonus action. Go ahead and Tootsie. use it. Will valiantly fly. Taking, taking an opportunity attack from this dork. That hits. For ten. For ten. Ooh, she's not doing too hot either. All right. Uh, and she will take a bite at the uh, chim chimera as well. Go ahead and roll it. That does not hit. It clanks off of a dragon scale. All right. Yeah. We're going to have the Chimera. It's the Chimera's turn. He is going to... Uh, he's going to bite at Dwarfadil. He's going to horn Dragul. And then uh, this one is going to be with advantage because of uh, Lion's Blood. Uh and he's gonna in a, a one, it's gonna be Dragul, and two, it's gonna be Dwarfadil. All right, the claws at advantage on Dwarfadil. It's only a fourteen, so it probably doesn't do hit, do anything to you. But I assume the bite and the horns attack, correct? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. The so thirteen piercing and sixteen bludgeoning. And it's Horus's turn. All right. Uh, let's which see. went oh. to which? Uh, thirteen on Udragul and sixteen on. All right, thirteen. Yeah, sixteen on Dwarfville. All right, Horace, you're up. All right. Well, um, I'm gonna try and thwack this guy here because he's sort of still in my way. 
All right. Uh, with my Warhammer. I assume hit. that hits. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take, I'm just gonna hit him. Yeah. Oh wait, actually, sorry, that's not accurate because I have my divine smite on. So let me roll. I'm gonna re-roll that. You can get the sixteen. Well, it's mixed. Some of that is divine smite. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. So I'm just gonna roll this. Go ahead. There we go. Okay. So, 13 altogether. Roger. This guy's he's still up, but he's looking very hurt. All right. Then I will use my extra attack to hit him again, hopefully. Ooh. Uh, unfortunately, that misses. Yeah, that's right. You better look out. <laughs> he growls Unless, at you. I am going to move my five feet just okay. to get a little closer. And I'm coming over there eventually. And speaking of growling, this guy dog this dirty dog also uh uh let's see he uh, dashes and growls at you but uh, a dirty dog but that's all he can do because he's slow as heck vendrick you're up who okay vendrick sees, sees the chimera show back up again sees the hag running away um i think he is going to oh, let me just make sure the range on this Yeah, actually, he can still do it. Um, he is going to step forward uh, here. I think is the right place. Let me just make sure the range is good. Okay. He is going to bonus action. Uh, he put his hand out to the witch. He's going to attempt to telekinetically pull her towards it. Oh, all right. Go cool. ahead. That's a, a DC um, strength save. Okay. It's a strength save. Somehow oh, she, she rebuffs you. She rebuffs it. Um. He. Oh damn! The range on that is not going to be enough. Um. He is going to. That's still. Enough. He's going to gesture to Samurai Jake. Because I'm I'm in the silence now at this point, right? Yeah, just barely. Okay. He's going to gesture to Samurai Jake to go after the witch, and he gestures that he's going to go after the Chimera. All right. Um, Samurai Jake gets the message. He is going to use the... Well, I still got lots of turns. Yeah, I know. Go ahead. Uh, so he's got a haste. I'm going to use my dash. Uh, and the rest of my movement, which would get me there. All right. Um, and that's all the movement I can do. I am out of the silence at this point, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, he is going to turn to the hag again. <laughs> He's going to let off a ray of frost. Oh, that certainly hits. For 16 cold. For 16 cold. Uh, uh, but more oh, importantly, uh, oh, no, not that. I need the error. Uh, her movement speed is reduced by 10 feet. She's not moving at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, and then I, I'm she not like, close enough to actually make an attack, unfortunately. All right. She, like, stumbles a bit, you know? Yeah. She stumbles. Uh, he, like, tried to telekinetically pull her and then blasted her with ice. Yeah. Yes. We cut to Ool. Ool. Did he get off? He, uh, he, yeah, he had to get off, he unfortunately. To Oop, he did tell that. me uh, he wanted me to do something. Yes. He's going to make the Vrock uh, swoop down and basically try, try to, like, attack the, the red cap. All like, right. He's, like, flying in, like... That's a miss, but that's a hit. All right. And I don't think it matters. The Vrock rips this guy to pieces. Yeah. Uh, oh, God. But it doesn't and, uh, go rogue. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Vro I, uh, a, a Vrock oh. is... I, I don't think oh. it goes rogue unless he 
gets attacked, right? I think it gets the yeah, uh, do like a charisma save or something. A charisma like check. Turn. Okay. I hate that spell so much. <laughs> I will say, Dustin, I believe ignored the part that as long as he stays in the place he cast it, he doesn't have to do the charisma check. I don't think, or he gets advantage on it. Um, okay. I, I don't have failed. his character sheet, so I actually can't. I guess. Yeah, I guess check. Rock failed. So Rock fails. So it's still hackering and slashering and listen to what he has to say yeah moving on yeah uh interesting okay uh dwarfadil what are you doing up here dwarfadil is looking at dragool and is fucking furious <laughs> he's like yelling <laughs> at him but you're in the silence <laughs> so i can't hear anything you're dwarfadil saying dwarfadil can't get mad Everybody uh, has their own traits. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what. Uh, Dorfidil. Gonna leave. <laughs> you're you're in the. <laughs> you can't. You, you can't. can't. You're in silence. Oh, Wait, I can't. Hold on. If, see, yeah, see, he's, he's already the cast the spell. And it's concentration. He's already cast it. It was concentration he's before he dropped it. it. He dropped it before. Oh. He, he had to drop it for polymorph and the. A wall of thorns. Oh, and the problem is, is it it requires a verbal component. That's what the V under components. Well, I mean, is. he, he, he does, can move uh, around it. He could he can move wall, to here. This wall of silence it. go through walls, or yeah, the silence go through walls. Yeah, I think it does. does. I don't think so. Then he's not in silence. Uh, I, think he, I think I think you are right. He can just walk out and cast it. He can just theory. move yeah. to here, yeah. and he's still in the tree. I can, can cast walk it. to the other side of the tree and. Yeah. <laughs> I'll leave. It's Dragul's problem now. Oh god. Dragul right. ran all the way up here to save you. To help his friend. And this uh Dorfidil's gonna use the rest of his actions to uh to sit down, relax, and uh eat a couple mushrooms out of his bag. Dragul, are you in sight? Yes, you're very barely in sight. Dragul looks back and sees you all the way down there at the bottom of the hill. And oh, says, man. You know, I do not think I like that TP. <laughs> Aya, you're up. Okay. Um, it's okay. So, how far can I move? It's like five feet. <laughs> it's so bad. Oh, my this God. Is absurd. Every foot costs four. Okay. It is such a good spell. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the ultimate Not... uh, crowd control, dude. Okay. I'm going to... Okay, she can't move currently, right? Why not? She Her, 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 foot, her, her steps have been reduced by 10 feet. Oh. So she's still going to have another round in the, in, the, in the aura of silence? Rip. Oh yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah she'll she be in there. there. That's what she means. You mean, yeah. yeah. If she dashes, she can move. I think one square. Okay, I need to. I need to get within thirty feet of this fucking chimera. Wait, then I suggest better, you just walk towards it. I mean, we got ten minutes run. left. We got to go. Okay. I I'm, I go right there. All right, Jacob. That ends me. All right. I repeat what I did last time. I dash and I dash again for a bonus action and I'll get right up in her face. All right. And I'll be I'll be silently saying, "Hey dude, that's not very cool of you." She can't hear it. <laughs> that ends Jake's turn. <laughs> okay. Well, she's going to uh she's going to claw you or attempt to claw you, I guess. Oh, that hits because I didn't get to do any attacks. All right. So twelve slashing. And then I guess she uh, she takes another step. Uh, no, she and that she can't actually. Oh right, she can't take a single step at yeah. all. Unless she all dashed, right. she could take a single step. <laughs> yeah, all right, but she Chimera. can't. Dragool. Oh, it's uh, Chimera. Oh, it's oh, yeah, Dragool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Dragool. Dragool then Chimera. So Dragool, um. He's gonna step here, uh, 
to get out from under it and you know just for goodness sakes yeah and uh Yes, he, he'll, he'll brandish unreliable greatness and, and go for the kill. Only three. Did that not work? There we go, 27. 27 Oops. hits. For some reason that didn't do what it was supposed to. Uh, he's gonna throw a favored foe on it. For 11, 11 damage, and then it will glow blue. Okay. Or... Uh, that's not the, that's not the right thing, but Tootsie would have done it anyways. Uh, for five damage. Okay. And then his second attack only went, only hit 11. But, that uh, misses. yeah. And then Tootsie's attack would have hit 12. And that misses as well. So, uh, I think we're both gonna move over here. Uh, I'll move there just for ease's sake. And, uh, end Dragul's turn. Okay, you've got this guy kind of like backed up, you know, and uh, but the the chimera, it is his turn, and he is going to uh, he's going to bite. Twenty five, he's going to horn for twenty five, and again he's going to lion's blood his claws on you for twenty two, and I don't know if that hits. Uh, I mean that's that's gonna hit. Uh, all three of them are gonna hit. Um, all right. Are you within 30 feet of me? You're not? Okay. No. As 40 damage total, I believe. Yeah. Okay. 40 it is. Horus. All right. So let's see here. <clears throat> I did see this demon just kill this guy. Yeah, but you know, as a paladin of Yasnin, do I like this thing? Do I know Ooh, it's my has son? unresolved problems? He doesn't want to confront. <laughs> but I'm gonna take I'm gonna take what I can in terms of alliances at this late stage. I'm gonna move my five feet of movement uh, to here. I'm gonna hit this. I'm gonna beat this dog. <laughs> An another one. Yeah. There's another one. Ooh. Okay. Oof. But I am going to swing twice. That one certainly hits. All right. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pop a Divine Smite level two, or second spell slot, level Ooh. two spell slot which is going to increase the additional damage, an extra D8. And I'm going to, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to thwack it. Oh! For 28. Okay, this, this poor dog. This poor dog. <laughs> Cloven in twain. He <laughs> dies. Actually, he's just smashed because you're using a a, a warhammer. War but but he's totally dead. And, oh yeah. Uh, do you do anything else? I don't think you can. I do. Okay. I do. Okay. I turn. I point my bloody warhammer at the chimera, mm -hmm. and I say, "Hey, motherfucker! Hey, it's for horses, and I'm gonna misty step over there." Yeah. As a bonus, because you're Fey touched, I guess. Hell yeah. Because I'm a Fey touched. Because I was touched as I was touched by a Fey as a child, which is why I hate Fey. The okay. connotations <laughs> is disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm ready to fuck this Fey up. All right, dog is dead. It's Vendrick's turn. What do you All do? Right. Vendrick uh, is gonna move on forward. His blade bursts uh, with green flame, uh, and he is going to uh, make an attack 
uh, with that flamed blade. All right, that hits. That is going to hit. I will turn on this because green flame blade will deal uh, an extra 2d8 fire damage. So that's 17. All right. Um, he is going to swipe again with the uh, with the that, oh, oh, that does that miss. One. Um, and then for my I'm trying to determine, I'm going to use the haste for anything you need. No, I think I think I am just going to swing again. Oh, oh damn. gosh! Oofa doofa! I'm sorry. You turn the scripts uh, on. They and then, they. Oh, go ahead. I was gonna say I was just gonna move one more square over if I could. Yeah. Uh, it, is that move where you gotta uh, move? Is that a space I can be in, or the one you're currently in right now? Y yeah. I would say yes. I imagine I'm up on the root. Yeah, you're up on and, the root. That's fine. Okay. Attacking a very right. large creature. I'm gonna yeah. s just skip Ool since he's not here. Yep. Uh, uh, Data or. Dwarfadil. Dwarfadil. You just munch it. man. Dwarfadil's salty as fuck. He's just Aya. laughing. <laughs> All right. Aya's Dwarfadil move did up. some serious shit, though. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Aya's going to move up. Her eyes are going to go black, and like her hair, like the roots of her hair are going to start to go black as she's going to cast Blight, her last fourth level, at the uh, Chimera. Blight. Ooh, not, a, not on the tree? Not on the non magic tree? It no, kills I, it I, just I, instantly. Oh uh, yeah, it'll kill it instantly, but I'm not casting it on the tree. There's no point. <laughs> All right, this is a uh, con save, I believe. Y yes, it is a con save. So, Eighteen. Little fucker. So uh, I guess he takes uh, what is he that? He takes 18, half. Eight, Eighteen necrotic, I think. Yes. All right, Roger that. All right, Jacob. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. My roots stay black. I raised perfection Ooh. high above my head, and I bring it there's down. There's a glint of sunlight. Yeah, there's a glint of sunlight behind me. And I bring it down while saying something really cool that nobody can hear. That definitely <laughs> ends in the word dudes. Lost to totally time. Silence. You hit. I it's beautiful. It's an amazing hit. The uh, the spirit inside of perfection whispers, "Good job, Jacob." I can't hear and, anything. Uh, <laughs> but you can't hear it, and so uh, uh, the uh, the the new rule is when you're attacking inside of uh, a silenced area, your uh, your your weapon modifier for perfection doesn't move at all. Okay, uh, so I, I mean it's that's, at max, that's bird so it's still fine. It's still fine. Yeah. So so how do you kill this girl? Um, you just cut her in half, right? Yeah, I'll just cleave her in twain, dude. All right. She goes Wah! and breaks to pieces. And then I'll which uh, I'll spend my uh, my action and bonus action to, to move twenty feet. It'll cost a key point. Hell yeah. Do we want to try and do another quick round? I'm good. I think we. More. I think we could do one more unless. I could do yeah. one more. Let's just say we're doing one more. And then, uh, all right. I think that's, I think that's it for you though, right? Yep. Dragul, what are you doing? All right. Dragul will pivot here to get these cats in wing range. Okay. Uh, and then he's going to do his, uh, two attacks that he does. Roll them. Twenty-four. Uh, that does hit. For All right, sixteen, so 16 damage. Roger. Plus, as it uh, glows blue, another oh, a big six for that. Hell yeah. So a twenty-two damage there. Okay. He'll attack again. For twenty-one. That does hit. For another eleven. Okay. He'll order Tootsie to go in, and Tootsie bravely 
jumps in for an attack. A 15. But misses. She chomps, but, you know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Yeah. That All right. will be Dragul's turn. All right, the Chimera is backed into a corner. But uh, let's see. Chimera takes a tiny step back. And then blows its breath weapon. It has a fire That does breath. provoke opportunity for Oh, Dragool. you're totally right. It doesn't Dragool matter. Go ahead and roll and it. And Tootsie. Yeah. The uh, three not Tootsie. Right here. Tootsie used her oh. reaction. Yes. Yeah, so that would cause... I guess all of you guys would roll an opportunity attack. Not Vendrick. Well, I, not Vendrick, because he's still close. To... Oh, uh, Dragul okay. does not roll four. That and only rolls a 13. Horace, do you want to roll your opportunity attack? He's muted at the moment. He's muted. I am muted, but I am here. I will roll my opportunity attack. All right. Do, 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 do. Ha ha. All right, roll damage on that. Ooh, smite that bitch. Oh, shit. I did the thing where I had my... I will smite. You know what? I will smite. You know what? <laughs> I will pop. A, I will pop my level two, my last level two spell slot, and and I will smite him. Although I rolled shitty, but it's still nineteen. Oh, all right. I see it. I see it. Uh, all right. I have that saved, and now if everyone, all three of you guys, would make a deck save to protect uh -oh. against twenty nine. Fire damage from the dragon's breath. Don't forget, you guys are in my aura of protection. Although I horribly failed my. I got a personally. nineteen. <laughs> That's right, because you roll with advantage. So you take uh, because half. of haste. Uh, is uh, Tootsie in the cone as well? No, it's only these three right here. So it's uh, twenty-nine. Sixteen, 16 half a half. All right. Ooh. Oh, nice. You. I wish I still had my reaction. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> I saved mine for that very reason. I mean, it's okay. because Actually, Dragul already has resistance against fire because he is a bronze uh, draconian. All right. So he right. takes a quarter damage of the, what, 29? Probably. Uh, Vendor, do you have to roll a... Uh, that, that's uh, actually what I'm, I'm right about to do. All right. Oh, easy. you pass it with flying colors. Is that rounded um, up, DM? Is it rounded up? I believe damage is always rounded down. Yes. Okay. So it'd be so seven damage. Truncated. Yes. Oh, uh, mine would be seven. Yeah. All right. I take yes. seven. All right. Uh, this uh, this guy still has two attacks though, and so he uses his uh, his horns on you as an attempt. Who is you? Uh, the guy he's close to, Vendrick. All right. And then he's going to Lion's Blood and empower his claws for another swipe at you. I, I'm going to use disadvantage on that one with uh, my my ward. And also... So it, which one are you going to use it on? Horns, uh, the, I guess? The, the claw attack that just crit. Uh, well, he still has advantage. It would have been a normal attack because he used the Lion's Blood on his claws. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it, it, it's, um, mm. I will what also, I will use a protective wings to boost your AC by four, if that's applicable to the 23. Yes, that will actually avoid that one. But I will get okay. hit by the crit irregardless. Okay. Are you, sh you will, do you have to get hit by the crit? Because I have Ward of Shadow. Uh, yeah. It gives you. I'm applying disadvantage against the attack roll. Yeah, but that's yeah. his first roll. Is the he has crit. A, he has advantage on the claw attacks, which would just make it a normal hit, which would have been the first roll, which is crit. I'm just saying, like, it it doesn't work like um, uh, what's it called? Uh, luck one point. where you, no, the luck point or the one where you like talk shit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I have no other way of describing it. It's the one where you talk shit. But it says um, when I see a creature get attacked, I can impose disadvantage on the roll. Yep. See, but that's the thing before... is you you did impose disadvantage, 
but it already had advantage, so it's a normal roll, and his normal roll was 20. I got it. Okay, that, yeah. that's the part I missed. Okay. Yeah. So, right. never, so uh, never mind that. Took the damage. I did pass the, uh, the con save still, though. Okay, good. Because well, technically, this gets a plus four added to it as well from uh, Horace's thing. Correct. Yeah. So many a, a, a bonuses. Horace? Yeah. All right. Is that the top of the round? Are we doing so a second round? Or is, uh, do we just finish this next time? It's pretty close to being done. But... I, is let's finish close? the roundup if we can go really quickly. It's, it's pretty close. Yeah. All right. All right guys. Go, yeah. Horace. Go, Horace. Let's, let's do it quickly. I'm going to Warhammer this gentleman. That and, is. <laughs> and I am going to put a third level spell slot into my Divine Might, which will be a 4d8. Let me adjust my thing real quick here. And... Why would Pallies Ooh. ever even cast spells? That's what I'm yeah. saying. Well, sometimes I want to write Osiris, let's be fair. That is true. Uh, Horus, tell me how you want to do it. Which I, head? Well, man. Horus is going to slay the dragon. He's going to hit the dragon head. And in, with, the, right. with, the, with the power of Yasni, he's going to say, I smite thee, fey scum. The dragon lets out a huge roar. The lion roars and gnashes its teeth, and the goat gives actually a, a really spooky bleat. Worst thing, the kind light of bad for the goat. <laughs> the the, uh, the ah! light fades from all of its eyes, exactly like you just heard, and uh, it flops over, Ooh. <laughs> dead. And that's ah. where we're ending tonight. Hell or a yeah. slayed. Hell a yeah. fuck ton of monsters today. Hell Horace, yeah. Horace is going to uh, like flex, like he does the like one hand pointing up and then the other one curled like biceps, and he just like, yeah, hell yeah. Does Horace still have gas in the tank? Do you have more more spell slots? He has two spell slots left. Yeah, I don't think All you. Right. How many? You didn't use hardly any of them for the night fight, right? No, I he knew I they used, were mooks. Yeah, yeah. I I used a couple. Um, uh, he called his rhino. I called my rhino yesterday, but that was my fourth level spell slot because it was my greater steed. Well, bam! Good job, hey. guys. It was a grueling battle, but everyone survived. It was a it was a good one. It was a good one. That was, a, was a really a... good fight. I. There's a lot of really big high points there. Oh, except for this demon. What the hell happens to that? Huh. I guess we'll find out oh, next week. Here, I'll tell you what Ool makes him do. Ool tells the demon, stare at the sun and go fly towards it. <laughs> <laughs> like, why? Don't even blink. Just stare at the sun till you go blind. <laughs> fly <laughs> towards it. On that note, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more gripping, grueling battles from the Adventurer's Landing.